Don't need to stop a fire. Don't think I can hit very hard with one of those, unfortunately. All right. But yeah, that last character kind of got into the problems that there was. There's no real escape option there. Um. I mean, maybe if I had uh, no, even if I had of like succeeded on my duel, I could sort of still run to like the exact same problem. Um, of getting hit there by the ball draining that I had no resist to. I don't even know what the, my last character could have done. I mean, I thought I reacted reasonably early, but maybe I could have tried dueling just a little bit earlier. Maybe would have been a plan. Okay, bring this all back to the staircase. I might have to cure Ari. It. We'll see. Or not. <laughs> I mean, that one, the spear wasn't too bad. Oh, whoops, don't get me that wounded. Whoa, I missed. Oh, no, I could be in trouble because I missed with a curari. Um, I gotta try to step back, but that's uh, that's always questionable. Okay. Oh, thank goodness, it didn't have me with the opportunity to attack and kill me. All right. I gotta start this with a curari, I think. Uh, uh, I'm still doing pretty badly. I think I'll die from the poison, though, at least. Oh, no, I lost most of my Kiorari. This is uh, a bit disastrous. All right, then. Good, fighting's doing well. I might just actually bring the fighting up just a little bit more until I find a weapon, which, I don't know, I've just been seeing random flaw junk at the moment. I haven't really been seeing any weapons, but I might have some armor. No. Okay. But that would probably be the next most helpful thing for this character would be a bit of armor. Oh, hey, there's a ranged weapon. All right, I could probably uh, switch to ranged. Yeah, that seems fine. Um... Range? Range? I guess it's not here because I haven't actually picked up any range weapons yet. Actually, hold on, maybe I'll just set a slightly lower target and then turn off the fighting right now. But I could probably just like immediately switch to this, I reckon it's going to be alright. Um... Yeah, there we go. I think Natasha tried to slow me or something, which is a little bit silly of her, because I have a Fobson, so I'm not exactly going to be affected by slowing. I should... Oh, I should update this dream time. I'm updating all the time, because I keep switching which weapons I'm going to use. Uh... I'm searching for a big crossbow for this character, because I've already got this Arbalus, which is going to keep me going for quite some time, I think. Alright, well that's not too bad. And the second level of dungeon is really early to find Arbalus. I uh, usually have to wait until you find like an old or something on a... Well, I don't know, I don't level 7 or something. Alright, go, we got a like, passive coupling, arc jolt, and lightning spire. Hmm. I mean, I guess I'll try and look for the dimensional bullseye, but I don't think I care about nothing else. Also, a great base of vampir, great base of this guy. It's only plus one, but still. Looks kind of terrifying, even if it's just normal. Like, uh, on s and his smelted souls ghost. A merfolk shapeshifter. They don't look too bad. I mean, I think I can take on the ghost, but I can't take on the ogres. That ogre can probably get pretty close to one-hitting me. Well, probably not. I should probably take a couple of pets. But there are more ogres in there, so... Yeah, definitely not going with that transporter. Oh, I can't wear the helmet. It's resist corrosion three decks. I mean, that's actually a decent helmet. Uh, I can't read whatever this is. Hey, I was teleporting. You feel a strange sense of stasis, of course, because I 
can't be teleported. Who is that? Is nearby? Why don't you better get to this one? This is probably not it, is it? No, it's not, is it? It's just a shop. But I'll take it out anyway, since it's an identified scroll. There's some enchant weapons and enchant armor. Grab the identify scroll. Uh, there's also a revelation, but I can't actually afford that. All right, well, I might be able to identify some revelations anyway. That one's blinking. That one's emulation. Neither of which are going to get me to this nearby portal. That looks like it's leading away from where I want to be. Let's go this way. That might help. It didn't help, but I'll still check out the shop, I guess. There's some sort of cloak for sale. What am I even wearing? Nothing. I mean, there's a rude robe as well, but I'll probably get a better robe. Um, very distant avalanche. I was nearby for a while, but I seem to have gone to... Oh, it's distant again. I seem to go to totally the wrong area. Oh, shield. It's poison for this willpower. That's something. I can take that one. The fire is just thanks, played up, but it is played up. It's probably too heavy. Yeah, when I get the body, I should grab that shield. Hey, there we go. This is uh, the um, Ozwary that I was looking for. I can kind of detect with the undead in here as well. Is this the one with like the uh, trap that you have to walk over if you want to go um, into the center? Or maybe there's just uh, various layouts of traps already. Some of them require you. Oh yeah, I don't technically have to walk on the traps. Alright. I could kind of see like which one of these ones uh, has the treasure just by judging where the creatures are. Alright. Yeah, it'd be the one down here that has all the treasure in it, which I might go take, but I think I'll do the other ones anyway. Oh, that might... Uh... <sighs> that too tough. What do I have that can really affect these guys? Not a lot. How slow is this guy? Hold on, can I just leave it behind? Alright, well, I guess the sensible thing is just a run back, shoot, run back, shoot, although... This guy's down here as well. Alright, I think that still works, but I probably should have cleared out the side before I went and explored the center spot, so I had a good spot for running. And I do believe I am done here. That means it's going worth good XP, right? I'm pretty sure it wasn't worth much else, though. Um... <laughs> Going through that, what have we got? Uh, intelligence and level up. I think that's probably one of the least useful things. At least with the strength that like uh, helps with shield and penalties for when I actually get a shield. How much more money do I need to get that shield? Oh, it's uh, 350 gold. I got like 70 gold, so it's going to be a little while. Do I just go grab the shining one? Um, what gods do I actually know about? I know about the shining one. I mean, it's not really a disadvantage to taking the Shining One, but I'll probably not stick with the Shining One as this character. Well, that leather armor could be good. Alright. Because I got plenty more things to save up for. I think the shield is the first thing to get. Because shields are just so good with former sense. Ow. Maybe the my burst will do a little bit better. Ooh, the oof two of us guys are catching up to me. Um That's the actual problem. I think I can still keep a retreating back, but yeah, it's not ideal. Got a ten health left, alright. But I just, oh, I might just bring a random potion and see what I can get of a tree. I mean, that's alright. I got 16 health now. Um, that might not be enough health. Let me try all of these potions. Uh, 14 health. I'm gonna try to get right. That's not that useful. So, like, 40% chance ahead. Maybe I should just mind burst at 70%. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Alright, so there we go.
Yeah, I think the Doof Tubers guys got moved uh, earlier because they used to be kind of trivial. Now they actually seem to. I mean, I saw that fight pretty wounded, but now they actually seem to be able to do something. Um, obviously, I want fighting ranged. I think the dodging can wait. Why doesn't the net want to pick up? No, no, anyway, I'll pick it up anyway. Don't know why it doesn't want to pick up. Oh, oh, it's a uh, binoculars. The ocular one, us. That's such a weird name. Hey, sir, no one. How's it going? Have you had a good day today? A oh, once a gangly and bedraggled vampire with a strange obsession with color, the locular was often su often succured by a missionary of Bjorg and became a portly and vigorous orc with a strange obsession with color instead. Right, so these spells are, like, different colored, I guess? How goes the crawling? Well, I, uh... Oh, he's doing a bit of damage. I managed to win... Um... Uh-oh. Or die to some bats. That at least my most the bats. Okay. I managed to win the summoner, and then I had a formerson going, and I got killed, unfortunately. So it's been a mixed game today. Oh, man, these bats are killing me. Man, okay, block is way tougher than the old, um, block the orc. Oh, no, I think I can get to the staircase here. And that's new. Sure is. Uh, I don't know how I feel about block It seems a little, um, strange. Oh, do I still have a curari here at least? Okay. Okay, go on Prince Ribbit. Oh man, Prince Ribbit's not a very nice guy though, sometimes. Ooh. Hey, Block your Elise had a row positive energy for me. That's something. Um. Are you enjoying it more now? Than the, yeah, because he didn't used to do a lot, did he? He was kind of just a. I mean, he technically had spells before, but he was mainly just like a ballet guy that was not that competent. The butterflies are kind of interesting, though, that he uh, sprouts and do. I'm probably going to have to go up here, aren't I? Because both of these guys are going to get to me at the same time, which is not what I want to do. Man, I'll just try the third staircase, I guess. See how that one is. What else is new? What else is new? I mean, there's, uh, there's new spells, but... Oh, there's apparently a new Formicid unique in the, um, spider nest? If you can get to the spider nest. Or if you don't get, like, the snake prince instead. Um, let's just get a little bit closer and then I'll curare it. Oh, no, I lost my curare. The curare just aren't lasting this game. Ooh, charm with it. I don't have a thing to enchant just yet, but if I get a triple crossbow, that's, uh, definitely the way to go. Uh-oh. I'm running out of things. Like, I've got a gnat to put this guy in, but I don't have much else to really affect enemies with anymore. Hey, Sigmund. Wait, why is Sigmund so late? That's a little six. I guess that's not that late, but it feels really late to have Sigmund. They had new spells? Um, kind of. Yeah, so there's... Hellfire Mortar and Horfrost Cannon to replace the old uh, Cannonade spell, whatever it was. Actually called. So you've got a choice of the fiery one or the icy one. Oh, wait, Pyko has a wand. Uh oh, I oh, don't know. I'm losing this battle. No, don't mess with the net. Oh no, I'm at six hit points. I am very much in trouble here. Um. Oh come on, I got another character in trouble. How much damage does this guy do? 10. And as soon as he gets out of the net, I'm dead. Oh, you're rocking an armless on D. Six Sigma is not what's usually here. Yeah, I mean, I guess the armless is pretty good. Oh, do I try a random potion? I'm gonna try one, but like this. Oh, ooh, ooh, that was good. Heal wounds, but I'm still kind of in a bad spot here. Okay, I've got heal wounds, though. 
Um, how many deaths do I have left? Just the one, right? I might do another heal wounds. And then finish it up with a lignification. There we go. That got me the most health now because I could get out of that situation. Um, right. I always thought the staircase was there. It was kind of a bit pointless. Oh, it's one of the Maru guys, uh, Maru Kuna guys. They will swab you if they get up to you, but I guess that one didn't live long enough to get up to me. I better retreat back. I've got health, right? Oh, I don't have health. Man, that's a healing potion gone. I thought I might be able to get to the staircase, but nope. Apparently it took a healing potion. All right. Also, good afternoon. Yep, good afternoon, Gail yeah, okay. Guy. How's your... I think it presumes all through afternoon for you. How's your afternoon going? Hey, finally a temple, though. I've got the shiny one. Um, I could just swap. So there's Okumaru, there's Heavily Aquara, there's like tons of good choices here. There's Quaslol, there's, um... Can we just do Heavily Aquara again? I, I think I might just try Okumaru. I don't know, I'm a bit behind on the party, but we'll see how this goes. I've been a form as a child, right? I'm pretty sure. That's why I didn't go with the Temple Aquata. Um, F over forms it right. God equals F. S equals title, I guess that's the way to find it out. Or oh, just a good afternoon, keeping busy, but not too bad. Ah, yeah, sounds good. Wait, no games for one form as God equals half the Aquata? Wait, really? No Fedas? I don't think there's a Fedas, right? I didn't see a Fedas. No, no Fedas. It's F O for Forms, right? Huh. I suppose they'd have gone again, uh, Forms and Child, I guess. Or Ant Child, or whatever the title's actually going to be called. I guess I'll put on the Steam Dragon scale. They don't have any Fire Dust, um. I don't know about freezing. You know, that's probably actually better than this Arbalos, so I might actually use it, because uh, the Oogbos and the Arbalos are fairly similar. Just this one's actually branded up, which is kind of nice. In fact, sometimes I actually find the Oogbos a little bit de uh, better, depending on exactly what I've got on the character. Um, oh, ring mail, uh, resist negative, sure. I've... Mm, actually, I've got a decent amount of surround. I probably could wear Ring Bell if I wanted to. Without having any problems. I've got. There's a willpower dog with the. Uh, I've got the Steam Dragon scales right now. I mean, those are both uh, good choices, I guess. A willpower or Steam Dragon scales. Oh, I still don't have any Curari. I might be able to uh, paralyze this guy. Only 30% though. Hey, it worked. First try. So, didn't have to worry too much about the two headed ogre then. Surely I can afford a shield right now. No, I'm like 50 gold short. But getting a shield on uh, Formus has made such a big difference. Okay. Obviously, I've got to go back to the snake is here. There's no way I can kill these guys without dying. And it just bites one head. I don't think the rats have followed me just yet, but they're probably around here somewhere. Oh, how would you query what God was uh, when you entered Zod 5 across all your games? Um, Is there even an achievement for, like, entering? Is there anything for entering Zod 5? Um... I hope they're sure there is. Um, uh, I don't think this command is right, but I've got to look at this one. Whoa. Okay, that one, that's only ones where you get a some sort of uh, milestone, though. 
So, also, if you got multiple milestones, I guess it's going to show multiple of them. I mean, for me, the shining one and Okumaru up there on the list makes sense. I'll borrow Zen at the end for me. But that's not quite right. That's uh, not entirely right. Um, I don't know what the actual correct command would be there. Because you don't, you don't want to, I don't know if there is a special mild, oh, I know, no. I don't know about Zot 5, but you could do, you could do Zot 1. Uh, with that one. Right? Yeah, I mean, that's not one uh, that's telling me, oh, Okawaru was my most common god when entering Zot 1. Fair enough. Um, I need to get some invocations on this character, like get it up to 5 or something so I can do the heroes of reliably. And then I can follow by the shiny one, Gozag, Sif Mana. I'm surprised there's not more Sif Manas on there. Um, I guess I haven't been, I've been trying to avoid going Sif Mana sometimes because I can't get any more Sif Mana titles. Alright, let's just back up a bit. Hey, it's Tech Man! How's it going? I noticed in the, like, uh, Discord that you got some wins recently, right? Sounds, uh, pretty good. I'm gonna bring this guy upstairs. But if it summons anything too bad, I can just bring it back downstairs. I guess I can bring it up and down and up and down and up and down, and then we'll get rid of the summons each time. Not that I needed to that time around. It didn't actually summon nothing too bad. Ooh. I'm gonna try paralyze the troll. I'm gonna try paralyze the troll. It's probably better than trying to use some sort of buffs because I'm a little bit behind in my party and I'm trying to build it up to get it to a good level. I might get dotting to like five, see if that makes much difference. I think forms is there anything special in dodging, but my tanks is alright. Oh actually, hold up. Instead of dodging, I should be getting shields. Because I'm about to be able to afford a shield, so you get like, you get like 12 points of shield, that's pretty uh, cheap. Yeah, but only like 20 gold or something. I got a Deep Elf Hexlinger, which is nice. Yeah, Deep Elf Hexlingers, they're, they're interesting because they're like super fragile, but Deep Elf um, Archers in general are pretty fun. Oh, there's a shield, speaking of shields. I that was a whip, I meant to grab the shield. So I've currently got point nine attack delay. One attack delay. That's actually not too bad. I should probably still go buy the other one because that's some useful resist on it, and I should use that until I get a tower shield. Are you playing around with demigods? Are you trying some like demigod archers? Trying to get like the ridiculous evasion builds? What's the highest like evasion you've got on a demigod? Um, you can probably query that, right? Uh, I might, yeah, it would just be like max equals. I might actually see what, like, uh, what max evasion you've ever got on a demigod. It's, it's got to be quite high, right? Also, not the splike, it's just gonna be like car uh, the character. Okay, come on, I want it to. Uh... Tell me exactly how much evasion that character had. Wait. Zero? I'm clearly doing the wrong account. Yeah, that account's only got one game on it. Okay, that makes sense. I feel like the pros outweigh the cons on Deep Elf if you're careful. I remember the Deep Elf archers being quite a lot of fun. Because sure, they're like fragile, but they've got good aptitudes, so they can use all the, all the normal ranged weapons, like... Triple crossbows, hand cannons, that sort of thing. Um. Ah, that's your actual account. Kareem or something. Max Evasion was on a Spriggan. But what was the Max Evasion? Oh yeah, 58? I mean, that's, uh, that's fairly respectable, but it looks like it was just a three-room game, right? Didn't go all the way to extended, where you get a lot more evasion. All your skills kind of max out.
Do I want an Obsidian Axe? Probably not. I don't think this character is the right character for an Obsidian Axe, because it's just one-handed. I don't think it would be that good with this character. Also, can I afford that shield? Yeah, I can. Which gets pause for this, which I actually kind of want. Especially with all these beads around and stuff. It also gives a ton of willpower, which is going to be really good on the leg. I think that's just a fairly good all-round shield. For now, anyway. Oh, this is fine. Oh, and also Vampire Brigands that had high decks going? Go see what Invade was on that one. Only 33? Huh. I mean, 33 is still pretty respectable. It's only bound to this character with a Teddy Major. Although this character is still pretty early game. Uh, where do I want to go? I want to go back to the corridor, I think. <laughs> that was a very suboptimal path I took there, but it's not going to matter. I still got the Yanks back into the corridor perfectly fine. Uh, anything good here? There's an Arbalist, which is not that good. A Heavy Sling, which is not that good. Alright, well, I guess that's fine. Ooh. I'll bring two of these up. I can probably find these beads two at a time if I just want to keep on taking the staircase over and over. Uh, I don't think there's any way I can dig around here to make my life any better. Oh, now you want to try max it? I mean, I feel like maxing is just kind of luck. Um... I think people, like, overall have done that with, uh, what was it, Octopodes? I love Dex builds, we're gonna do some maxi evasion builds, see what you can get. Yeah, it comes down a lot of, like, oh, someone got 185 evasion? On a Octopode Brigand of Chabriados, oh, that makes tons of sense. Yeah, because they're probably just stacking the dex rings. Chamber handles for more decks also makes sense. It was a 15 room game, so that also makes sense. Right, that's absolutely crazy levels of invasion. Alright, curing. Fear, what else have we got here? Oh, good old butterflies. Wait, I can't use butterflies because I'm with the Okawaru. Uh, that's a shame. Okawaru's a, uh, butterflies are a decent escape option, though. I should probably retreat back, maybe. Ooh, and Vampiric Drain me. I've got to put on some heroism. I can't survive that without the heroism. After the Vampiric Drain, it was going fine. Like, I almost dead. What if they ever showed 0% chance to be hit? Um, not from pure evasion. The minimum you can get is like a 2% chance to be hit. But uh, with shields you can get, uh, and evasion, you can get another 0%. In fact, I've had a ghost that had a 0% chance to hit me before. And of course I fought them, and they were... Well, they were actually really annoying to fight, because they like blinked around all over the place, but they did manage to hit me. Uh... Are you wondering what their shield was on that character? I mean, I guess I could, uh... Could ask. They might have had a shield to go with it. They, what were they? They were a brigand. Who knows what sort of weapon they were using? Uh. Can I just do that? Maybe the command is not well formed. I don't know. Oh, whoops. Why do I have to kill an elephant? Oh, I should probably just hear them. Yeah, I think I was doing a bit, of more, a bit too much damage before that. Okay, but obviously that command is not well formed. Um, either that or the bot just doesn't feel like responding to me today. That's fine. I can just ask for the shield. Oh, they apparently had zero shield. Whatever they were doing um, didn't allow them to have shield. I mean, they were brigand, which doesn't really tell you a lot about what they'd likely to be using. I guess you'd probably just have to look at the log file. Again, I still got no cure army does. I mean, I guess I can poison dart the spawn beetle. I think so, head. Good, it didn't head. I did put on the, um... Evasion to make it less... All the, uh, terrors and make it less likely to hit. All 
All right, well, this dungeon level 11, so very soon I should just be going to the lair. I think I got poison for this, which is nice in the lair. Oh, good. Shields are doing well. That's what I like to see. It's actually still reasonably cheap. Um, I should get more invocations so I can do the heroes of reliably. I should get the dodgy up to like five. I don't know. There's a lot of things I can get here. Uh, I can't the shields going like that's just uh, worth getting up to like 18 or something with all plus three aptitude I've got. I think it's my main defense of the shield. Yeah, Formson gets hard to benefit from shields. Like, my last Formson, I tried to even find a shield, which was really a uh, shame. Although, did they actually live as long as this character? They might have died about the same point as this character's got to, I reckon. Oh, nice. I got a sneak back from this guy. They've got a slow with, like, the frost of my attack. That made it really easy. Oh no, not Nigel. Nigel's who took me out last time. Um, I think I got a finesse in the heroes of them. Hopefully that's fine. Alright, well that actually made it kind of trivial. I might not need both the buffs, but I don't, didn't want to address a Nigel there, because I got over this negative, so like... She could have just uh, done a ton of damage with a bolt of draining. That's what she did last time. And she repeated the bolt that killed me. That's rather cold this all right. It's a uh, plus two, so I might put it on. Oh, is a two headed ogre again? I've got no, I don't know. I'll just shoot it with light, I guess. Still got no curare, it's probably fine, yeah, just getting it with a bit of light. I always put on the heroes over here, because this fire's doing a lot of damage to me, I've got no fire resist. Oh, wait, why am I done exploring in this silver so guy here? Yeah, I just go around the other side. Uh, wherever it's gone, it's uh, moved on, I guess, by now. Whoops, I want to go to the land now. I want to just keep it going down the dungeon. I have a feeling that would not end the best. Oh, I brought all of these up. Oh, it's, not, it's not good. I got to put on some heroism. Oh, this is uh, working worse than I thought. I got to drink a healing potion, but I got to. There we go. That's got to think it's under control again. I should have probably started with that heroism, definitely. Man, maybe I should have done a heroism before I even went down the staircase or something. <coughs> oh. <sighs> what am I doing? Okay. I don't think any of these yaks are going to be a problem. It's going to be when I start fighting death yaks. I think they're going to get a bit tougher because, um, well, death yaks are probably fine. It's just if I do end up next to a herd of death yaks, there's no running away. It's usually fine, though. You can usually run away before they get up to you. What are these? Five fogs? All right. Oh, man, but I do got the point. I do have the points of this. I might start zapping with a little bit of light. Oh, he has light too. Okay, that's a problem. We're gonna have to buff up with both my buffs. Ah, oh, it's a shame. So much for saving Piety, but if he's got a one of light on him, he's uh, quite dangerous. I probably got enough willpower, I won't be petrified because I did find the um, armor. Uh, shield, I mean. Hold up. Uh, it's a decent way to run to get to any kind of staircase, isn't it? 
I guess this is probably fine as a choke point. Because the thing is, standard that dispels the trap doesn't disperse me, it just disperses them. So it sort of works to keep things at a distance anyway. Alright, well, uh, regen's excellent. I don't have much in the way of jewelry. Can I buy some? I can go buy myself a Revelations and Enchant Armor and Enchant Weapon. I don't have an endgame weapon yet. I'll probably just save up and grab that cloak, because that could be something decent. Do Rhyme Drakes ever have armor? I feel like there's no such thing as Rhyme Drake armor, because most of the dragons have armor. That's kind of weird, though, I think about it. Yeah, I don't think they have armor. Oh, I haven't really thought of that before. Like, the steam ones do. All the normal dragons do. Oh, hey, Gastrog. He's got a hat of pondering. Do you want a hat of pondering? I can't wear a hat of pondering. That kind of answers that question. Um. I need heroes of up. Whoops. There we go, got rid of him. I probably didn't need to hear his mom. Keeping him at a good distance is nice, because then you can just run away. Also, I think he's not very good at using his abilities, like, when he's at a uh, big distance from me. Uh, I can identify... I've got potions. I might do some of those. Oh, good old degeneration potions. Also, for some reason, picked up a helmet at some stage. Um... Nah, I'm not going to go with the Obsidian Axe, I'll just drop that one on the ground. I don't think I've edited a character, like a successful character, to use the Obsidian Axe, but I have used it for a decent amount of a game before. Um, just I think I was trying for like a, was it a real-time character or something? So it didn't live particularly well. Do I have an acid resist? Um, I think I do, but I'll not. Nah, I guess I won't fight the Oakland plant. This is going to give it like a little bit of a try, but that's obviously way too powerful for me. There'd be kind of zero percent chance. Oh, that Minotaur's awfully close. Well, at least I don't have to go looking for that one. I can drop uh, Old Shield. Ringmail's probably not that special. Teleport's silly. Blinking silly. I have a lot of my stuff identified, do I? Uh oh. Um, hold up. How does that my light one through these guys? All right, I gotta put on at least some heroism. I got the Hydra slow. There we go. That's fine. And if, I don't think there's anything else for me to drop, so I'm just gonna go in here and see what there is. Oh, I've only got one choice. I might as well see what all the things are before I go in. Um, oh, looks like I might open out to more choices. Can't believe this could be a problem. We'll see what else there is. There's Moth of Wrath, which could be a problem. But this is one where it gives you a choice each time whether you want to continue on or not. Oh, it's a Bullrog. I don't have any fire resist. Yeah, I'm going to have to stop before that one, unfortunately, I think, because, yeah, trying to find a Balrog with no fire resist is pretty much suicide. There's uh, no point in even trying. Oh, I've got a, got a Heroes of Up here. Alright, good. This is under control again. I can just... I didn't give you a lot for this one, but oh well. Um... Where are these Hornets? Oh, both of them are right here. I think the Hornets will be fine with my Poison Resist. Okay, well, that's unfortunately the last one I can do, unless I can get a Fire Resist from somewhere. Why not wear some heavy armor? Uh, I maybe should. Maybe should, but I, I don't know. I haven't seen any, like, good heavy armor, have I? And now's not the right time to check, because I can't exactly swap it or anything. Plano would probably be a bit too heavy. I mean, it does slow the range, so I don't want to go too heavy, but I've got a bit of strength, so it could go a bit heavier. Or do you like playing any mages on performances? I don't play them much, because you don't get to use the whole, like, using two-handed weapons with a shield thing quite as much. I mean, you do technically get to use it. You get less benefit from it. <sighs> I can have a ditch early, I think. Is that ball wrong in the way? Whoa, is this multiple minotaurs? There's going to be zombie ones behind these doors, which is fine. 
Got a little slug. Anti magic slug. That's fine. All right, well, now that I've killed, I can take in Stablins? I don't think I really... Do I even need an anti-magic sling? Seems pretty questionable. I don't think I do. All right, what's uh, behind here? There's another Minotaur behind this one. There's a... Uh... Ooh, I might just put on a bit of heroism. That's actually doing some damage to me. All right, well, we've got... Oh, plus five gloves with two decks. That sounds amazing. Okay. Leather arm resist electric. Okay, I mean, I might just grab all the stuff. Hold on. Definitely putting on these gloves. Those are amazing. Those bring my arm gloves up so much. So, got leather arm resist electric or rope of fire resist here if I want to wear some of that. Um, I mean, it's not exactly you have your armor, but it's not bad. Plus, my gloves, yeah, plus my gloves are amazing. Especially when they come, oh, they come to cold resist as well. Hold up. I probably shouldn't be wearing cold resist. I should probably wear like fire or resist electric. Yeah, but he is one's fine. At the moment, yeah, I'll go with the fire resist for now. All right, well, I think I can just get out of here. That was actually uh, pretty worthwhile, as it turned out. Sure, I had to miss like half of it because of Balrog, but like, can't complain about these gloves. Oh, I got the spider's miss. I might find the u uh, unique Formicid unique, maybe. Be nice. You have a Formicid versus Formicid fight. That's an evasion. Nice. What is this? Ooh, willpower. Do I even need that? I tried on. I've got. No, I don't even need that. That's silly. I shouldn't try it on. Because I'm probably getting like a tiny bit of evasion by putting on the strength and reducing the penalty on my shield. Uh, I might just put on some resist electric and fight the electric eels and then put back on my fire resist or whatever. Yeah, because that resist electric makes some trivial because first I got a hit through my evasion, which is doing all right. Especially with that new ring I just got. Oh, is it a new unique? You think you got an edge unique recently in Spider? Yeah, that's the one. Uh, that's the one I was thinking of. That what is they called? Like Zach or something? I don't know exactly what they called. I think it was Zach. Um, but we'll see if I actually find them or not. I wonder what are the chances of them actually spawning if you get uh the spider nest. Got three of everything. I might as well do a scroll. I guess. Oh, enchant up. I can probably enchant um. Something a brad weapon? Uh -huh. Don't want a brad weapon. I mean, I've got a freezing, which is actually pretty good. Oh, that's all right. I mean, Thomas now can't slow me, but it's still like I don't want to bring up uh, Death Yak and something else. I want the Death Yak on its own. Of course, I have gloves. I got plus five gloves for it. Why are we even looking at those plus zero gloves that are just lying on the ground? All right. We're going to death yank back to one of the staircases. Um, I don't have any cure for to make my one on one fight better, so I might have to mind up or something. Not mind up, finesse up. We'll see how it goes. Uh, it's going all right, I guess. Well, it's just pants with the gloves. Yeah, those are like the... What are my gloves actually called? Gloves of purpose. <laughs> I've got currently. Alright, this will do as a choke point. I mean, I probably could have just gone on there, but hey. <laughs> taking my own one's fun. It doesn't even matter the like uh like the little bit of draining that it gave. Oh okay. Hold on, I wanna go this way. And I wanna go this way. There we go. Now the Malia can't see me while I'm fighting all the bees. Shall I mind bus? I feel like it's got willpower. Sixty percent, I might give it a try. Malia's Maliates are difficult, okay. Like, even just 1v1 with the Malia seems like it's quite a problem for this character. Oh, you died to a 3 Malia early on? They got, they got like, 2 shot by them? Yeah, like, I don't know, their smiting can be pretty ridiculous, because you can't run away from them. Like, sometimes they do go down quickly if you got, uh, got the right sort of wands or spells or whatever. 
but I don't know. Sometimes you just meet them really early as well, like dodge level 8 or something, and they just mess you up as soon as you see them. Okay. I mean, I feel like my mind bus is alright. I don't think I've actually got any skill mods. I should probably get a little bit of skill as soon as my targets reach on whatever I'm training, which I think is mainly shields. A little bit of bow skill. Alright, I guess scroll the poison. It could be good. Because I have a resistance to that myself, so that I can, like, read the poison and step back into it and stuff. How many death yokes are there here? I don't think I've really got a proper chance to run away, so I might just have to fight it. Uh, with heroism, because it's doing too much damage without the heroism. Why do many people play like Formsons or Champion Angels? Because at least you get a stab from time as an escape option. But you wouldn't be able to run away or anything. It would be, um... Yeah, I mean, I guess escape from, uh, a step from time is the right escape option. It'd be interesting. I don't feel like it'd be too bad. Oh, these look weak. Usually the things counting the slime is like acid blobs and um what are the cross ones called the azure jellies and stuff? They're usually something pretty nasty. Is that shark a problem? I do have three lignification. Oh, said I don't even care. <laughs> it's dead already. If it myself I should lignify, I think. I probably lose a few defenses while lignify, which is why I'm um not doing it if I don't have to. Those shark suck. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with those ones. Usually they uh, sucked fight, but those ones sucked in like a different meaning <laughs> and that they were bad at fighting, but usually they suck as in they're really nasty to take on. Actually, I can make this slightly better. So I can already see one of the dream sheet because their chance of uh, fainting me, putting me to sleep is based on how many can see me, I think. Yeah, I mean, uh, usually they just berserk out pretty easily. I like using electrification potions on them, because at least that works. Uh, I have a few things I could enchant up, but I'm, at the moment I'm just going to save those enchant armors and drop them on a tower shield if I find one. I think that's the plan, because there's a forms that you really do need a tower shield. Eventually. I can't be uh, turned to pick, right? Oh, 2%. Probably fine. Oops. Ah, that wall's uh, that's actually the edge of the map, but anyway, this will do. And of course, like, the humans are like hostile, because they're like, ah, oh, you're an Okawari worshiper. Why does everyone hate Okawari worshippers? You're like, I know the Okawari wants you to be on your own and not have allies, but... It's kind, of, it's kind of funny that everyone just hates you because you're an Okawari worshipper. Like, hates you enough that they totally attack you, um, even if you just saved them from being a pig. I wonder what that happens as well if you're like a Rue character that sacrificed love. Hey, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna do armor first, see what we've got here. So we've got, um, I don't care about the gloves. I mean, two fire resist is kind of nice, but don't really care about a cold resist. Cloak of fire resist, resist negative. There's boots of minus strength plus int, but they give regen. And there's regen, ring mail, of resist negative. Ah, uh, that cloak's alright. Uh... Boots are regen. Do I care if I lose the strengths? I kind of want another regen. Um, if I'm going to be perfectly honest here. Right, it's probably fine. I might just grab the boots. Shaw sure, will be fine with less strength. Yeah, it seems fine. Alright, well, come on, weapons. Don't disappoint me, Okawaru. 
Oh, that's a mildly disappointing range of stuff. There's no triple crossbows here, although that longbow is probably good. I guess I just grabbed the longbow. Why is there a rapier here? That's nonsensical. Heavy sling makes no sense. Yeah, let's grab the longbow. It's all right. A longbow is a good enough weapon for the end of the game. I was just kind of hoping for a triple crossbow. All right, well, I guess I'll put this one on wherever it is. Oh, wrong menu. I mean, this is obviously going to do more damage, right? A point eight attack delay, 22 damage. I uh, One attack delay, 30, uh, 5 damage. Can rebrand if, brand if I'm not happy with flaming? I mean, flaming's fine, honestly. That ice dragon's fine. I might just let it... Oh, I got confused. I don't know if I care about Ice Dragon numbers. I think my only fire resistance is coming from my armor anyway, so I'd probably have like some negative fire resistance or something awkward if I put that one on. Right, obviously I get decks. Keep that one going. Oh, in fact, my stats are kind of barely even. Strength is 18, no, 19. It is 19. I mean, I guess uh, um, Dex has gone up to 23, so Dex is doing a lot better. Oh. Uh... I did dungeon level 11, I could dungeon level 12. Yeah, I mean, this bow is pretty good. I don't know, I could have charged up. You know what? Sure. I'll max it out. And if I have to use this till the end of the game, that's fine. But if I don't and I find a triple crossbow, that's excellent. Okay. Can I just nab this guy with some light so I don't have to worry about it uh, heading me and sending me to the Abyss? Because I don't really want to go to the Abyss as a level 15 character. And I feel like the Abyss is mainly about like uh, not getting sent to the Abyss and trying to avoid at all costs, rather than actually escaping the Abyss. I have to go to the Orcish Mine soon, but I'll do this level for a little while. Have I found it on my army yet? I think I have. Some of it's not very good, like the cloak, but most of it's looking pretty good. Uh, I dropped the ice dragon armor. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, sure. I dropped the ice dragon armor. I don't know. It's not, not that special, I don't think, for this character. When you get that longbow, this was an Okawaru gift, this one here. Yes, yeah, so I got the longbow and I got the boots of regen at the Okumaru gifts. So that's actually pretty decent. I mean, I was hoping for a triple crossbow, but this is actually actually a really, really solid weapon. So I can't actually complain. Well, I shouldn't actually complain, but I can complain. <laughs> Do I really need these Atropid Dots? The answer is no, I don't really need them. Alright, I think everything's self following me now, so I should just be able to beat up this one dude. Yeah, I was trying to separate those guys out a bit. Uh, it's kind of funny how I killed the one at the back first, because my chance of hitting was not that great. I think I can just keep it continuing here. Okay, what do I want? There was something I was going to get, right? Evocations? I was going to get like uh, 80 evocations or something, so I could actually use my ones that I've got. Well, or I kind of delivered a vampiric bad lag. It's not the right sort of weapon for this character, really. <laughs> I'll start at level 30. I should definitely go to the Orcish Mines now instead of just going down. I'm going to cold resist, right? Let's double check. That's a lot of stuff. Hold up. Banner's not going to freeze everyone with uh, these other creatures around, thankfully. There we go, okay. I might not need quite that many buffs, but I just wanted to make sure all my staircase didn't get completely covered in absolute tough things so that would absolutely kill me when I went downstairs. Oh, hey, Harold. Please get me out of this net. Hey, he's even got, like, a lot of roots to go with it. Um... 
Oof. I definitely gonna put on some heroes of all. He's not too bad. Oh, he says, my family, and then collapses. Yep, well, he shouldn't have done an assignment to try and kill a pharmacist with a bow. That was a bad idea. Got a fa faintly glowing spear, masterwork halberd, ancient glaive, sapphire flail. I mean, those are all, uh, fine. They're, they're also not what I'm after. Man, it's always making short work of the orcish mines. I feel like I'm not having any problems here. Oh, okay, draw run. Let me check my willpower does. I actually hold up 1% of Petrify. I think I'm gonna pull off the pull on the buffs, uh, both of them, I think. Because he does oh he's dead. Okay, cool. This bow definitely does tons of damage with the buffs on. Have you seen the new Blockula? Yeah, yeah, I got the new Blockula. Was it this character that killed Blockula? How do I tell? I definitely killed him on one character. Was either this character or like the previous one? Um Can I just get a uh I'm gonna try to see like with a command. I think it's something like that. No, that's obviously completely wrong. I definitely fought Blockula on one of my characters. I don't know if it was sort of the previous one. And it, uh, it was actually really dangerous. Um, oh, should I get 20 rage skill? That's too much. I mean, it gives me the mid delay. I might just do it. I mean, I guess with how much damage this weapon is doing, it probably makes sense to try and uh, focus that up into something that's doing really well. Although it does mean that, and it also means the heroes will be less useful, which means I might be able to not use it as much. And save my party for the finesse, which could also be a really good idea. Uh... Block Hero is such a weird unique, though. I don't know how I feel about them. I mean... Oh, that's too many guys. I might just get back to the staircase. I mean, then turning into, like, butterflies when you kill them is kind of cool, but... Um, I don't know how I feel about their name. It's kind of a funny name. Alright, it's going okay. Looks like I might have no granting, which shouldn't be too bad, because I got enough willpower, I won't be able to be petrified, so I should be just fine at killing all the ogres that I get. And also, just fine with not being banished by uh, Rolcher. Just kind of dies like any other orc here. Or any other ogre, I mean, because he's not an orc. Oh, this is a light of it. I might grab it. Um. Okay, so there's a brosie, which is actually... Oh, that's not the right one. That's a brilliant. So there's a brosie, which is not bad. Um, As a character that worships Okawaru, because you can duel things and then uh, use it in a brosie. Fire does do I need that? I feel like I got a little bit. There's a slag, which could be good. I'll see what else there is, but I might grab the slag. Glowing chainmail. I feel like I'm wearing like coal resist? Fire resist? Fire resist, right. Um, I get the invisibility. I guess I get another lignification. I probably don't need the curing. Although I've got the I've got five curing. You know what I might actually grab the curing? Because I got the whole like um spiders coming up. There's something I wanted, I wanted the slag, I think. That sounds pretty good. I can take up the... Oh, it's probably strats or something. Alright. Well, that's my damage at anyway. It's hard to 39, so it's a good 10% more damage. If I lose my strats, which didn't do much when I lost it. Apparently this shield has very little penalty, because I've trained my shield skill quite high. Um... Oh, I should check what title I'm going for this character. It's probably like a long time before I have to worry about titles, but I should definitely check. Uh, before search. So, I've had um, Ant of Arms. That's the Okawaru one. But Ant of Death from Necromancy. I've had Ant of Prey from, what, Trog? Postal Chief of Staff. Dissolving Edge, Forms of Barricades, so I've had Shields, which makes sense. Pregnable 
Infernalers, Myriads, over the Archery one. Opulent, shapeless ads, so if you're shaped to Telly Tunnel, I think is a Transvocations one. So, technically, I could get a uh, range one if I wanted to go for the um, 21 skill range one or whatever it is. Oh, hey there, Roxanne. Roxanne's pretty harmless for a Fobbsit. I can just stand back and shoot her. Because she's like trying to teleport me in desperately, but it's not working out for her. I got an able to regen all already. Man, this damage feels great. Uh, I mean, I'm missing a few defenses. I might know my defenses are pretty good as well. Hey, Nezos. Um, usually with Nezos, you can either like paralyze him or polymorph him, but I got some paralysis here. Something like, oh, something like 70% or something. But I got him. And if I had to, I've already got a plus nine longbow of flaming. He's got a longbow of flaming for me. But none of the other Okamaru gifts made any sense. Oh, there's a Minotaur in here. I might go fight it. And it's got, uh, it's got a buckler, ring of magic points, it's not even that much in the way of loot, unfortunately, but yeah, Minotaur at this point in the game isn't too tough. What's chief of staff? Oh, uh, that's, uh, for having 27 got staff skill, I think. It got staff skill, something like that. Yeah, maxing out the staff skill, I gives you that one. And it makes sense to do that on a Formicid, because, uh... Pretty much all the staffs, like large shanks, are two handed. So if you want to go over the shield, why does lightning run this dude? That would be the sensible thing to sensible character to get it. I'm gonna back up. This guy can't slow me because I'm a formicid. But some of the titles are kind of funny. Some of the, the unique ones. Look, there are actually a number of unique ones I've still got to go. Some say they're going to try and get the Royal Mummy one, but that one seems really um, hard. It's going to be a, like a Mummy of Gothag or something, get really rich. I don't know, maybe I'll try it at some stage. I know the high piety Gothag title is always really hard to get, like even the generic one. I wish stars were more common, like the, the non-magical ones. Yeah, like the large tanks and stuff. It'd be kind of nice, like, if you could guarantee a Elijah tank or something. Hey, it's another longbow. And of course, another longbow, but I don't need those anymore. What, uh, lead branch do they have? The shoals of the spice nest. Um. I don't have a flight, do I? Oh, ultra rich Gozag titles basically required zigging. Um, I think so. Wait, why did I search for rich? That's not right. What am I actually trying to search for? Uh, my goodness, shoals. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they do. Like the when I got the one, like they don't actually require you to complete a full zigger up. But when I got the fifty thousand gold one, I think it required me to do at least a piece of a ziggurat. And mummies might be all right in ziggurats. Uh. Because I kind of got the Necro mutation going. I don't know. Could be could be worth uh, doing that. Doing a zigger up with a mummy. Of Gozag getting rich. Oh, hey, there's the Ice Cave. Oh, you love this kind of uh, build tree head? Yeah, I love um, archers. But it's mostly the two-handed ones that just do so much damage. I need strength. What do I need? This is an Ice Cave. I probably need cold resist. Uh, poison darts aren't so useful anymore. I guess my dead fights I can get rid of. Do I need the branding? I can actually drop the branding into the charm weapon until I get like a better weapon because this is fine for now. Um, I got some vulnerability. I can drop the amnesia. All right, that's easy enough to do. Revelations. I could just go in. Might just go in. A lot of stuff. I might put on... I might put on the Heroes of Finesse. I'm not sure if I actually need it, but I haven't put on both my core resists, and I'm a bit worried about how much damage these can do, but that looks fine. I probably don't need gloves, because my gloves are ridiculous right now. Uh, they're plus five gloves with core resists, which is my only source of core resist right now. Um, 
What else did they do? They did something else as well. Uh, three decks or something? They're pretty ridiculous. I'm not sure that was a great change. Yeah, I basically didn't play many uh, matches at all until that change. Uh, yeah, the Heroes of Finesse lost me through this whole place, so that was really nice, I think. A ridiculous amount of money doesn't strictly require ziggurats, doesn't it? I guess you could get it from, like, uh, Pandemonium or something, right? That's Willpower Clarity. Hmm, Willpower's good right now. Yeah, this glass of decks. I mean, look at my gloves. Plus five gloves of conferences and two decks. And technically, that's one more decks, but I'm not going to worry about the gloves of decks. Uh, you can scrape Pandemonium Bits forever. If that's your thing, yeah, I suppose that's true. You could, in theory, do that. And then you got the money. That would be even more tedious than trying to um, do uh, Ziggurat. So, in fact, the single Ziggurat's not too bad. Like, it's not too painful. Not only when you just start, like, trying to do 27 Ziggurats or something, it gets a bit painful. I love ranged characters and the shoals. They feel so much better than, like, trying to walk up to people in melee. Because, I mean, so many of the enemies are either ranged or really, really fast, so... Yeah, it's kind of bad if the enemy's shooting at you the whole time, you're trying to run up to them or something. How big is the form is it? They're kind of small, right? So they get slowed by water? Yeah, they do. Because they can technically use, like, really big weapons, but that's only because they got, like, big strong arms or something. Or extra arms or whatever, because they're, like, an ant person. Right, well, it's time to go down. This didn't seem too bad on the first level, but I did get the uniques or anything. I think the repel missiles on those ice drakes isn't as bad as it used to be. Also, a scarf and a cloak here. I mean, I could buy either of them. I might start with the scarf. I have repulsions, actually. Worth wearing. Hold up. I might come back for the cloak, but I think I might wear repulsion in here. Um... Yeah, because there's enough, like, uh, archers and stuff, but that actually makes quite a big difference. Especially for the javelineers that ignore your shields, it's well worth having. Or maybe we'll do Royal Mummy for next tournament mega singing. Unfortunately, I'll probably just go, like, human or something uh, with Explore Heal again for mega singing. But yeah, maybe. Could maybe do a mummy. I mean, I feel like you could pull it off. If you're, like, uh, experienced in mega singing. What can I identify? I've got two identifiers, so I can do, uh, Mutation... ...and Silence. Polyphemus is such a funny unique, like, he's kind of thematically quite appropriate, but it's funny how he's got a... ...catablepus that, like, petrifies him. That a, that's a non-artifact damage, right? Yeah, it's just reflection. What am I wearing? I'm wearing regen. I can probably wear reflection for a little while. Get some more shield value in here. See how that goes. I still got one source of regen from my boots, so it's not too bad. Oh, there we go. I got my range up to 20, which is probably as high as I'm going to get for a long time. I max that, of course. Oh, I know why I often don't get the title. It's because of shields often gets up really super high. I guess that makes sense. Uh... I need the invocations up, but I'll try for 14, I think. Right, I gotta look at this bookshop. What do I actually care about in here? Probably nothing. I mean, is Ignite, Poison, Spell, Dead? I don't know. I really don't know what this character would care about. I mean, probably the Dimensional Bullseye at some stage. Although I find the Dimensional Bullseye I tend to use less than I use the old uh, Portal Projectile. I mean, it's fine. Like, you can shoot one creature and end up without shooting the one you want to shoot. Um, I think it's there. You can use it for, like, extra damage and stuff as well. But, I don't know. It's not... Uh, it doesn't hit guys behind fences, which is a bit of a problem with it. There really aren't a lot of ways in this game to actually hit people behind fences. 
Like, Manifold Assault will do it. Uh, Airstrike will. Except Airstrike's gonna do less damage because of all the walls around them. It's a holy ending, isn't it? I'll put on a little bit of heroism, try to get some defenses. Harpies are kind of bashing me up. This looks super much, uh, super like a holy ending. Right. Next staircase, I guess. They start off looking kind of safe, and then all the creatures just start swarming the one staircase. Oh, gas plants here. Gotta shoot some of these plants because they, they're getting kind of annoying. Get those fantastic reasons, right? You don't uh, worry about the plants anymore if you're with fantastic. Uh, oh, something opened that door anyway. Uh, that's actually good. Uh, something opened that door because it means I, uh, well, it means the creatures are going to be a long distance from me, which is exactly what I want. <sighs> There's these plants in the way, of course. Let's get rid of that plant. <laughs> um,. Yep, this is very much a holy ending. I might just try and bring up one of these holy guys. Also, I'm gonna explore the staircase. I'm surprised I haven't explored it. It's probably a separate island that's not connected to the rest of the level. Yeah, it is. That sometimes happens. You guys are getting so trolled by the reflection, like that guy's throwing an enemy. And the oven is all dead and stuff. That's kind of funny. Uh, I don't bring my health down too much more. Alright, what sort of creature got here? It's just a, just a snake. It doesn't seem to be any kind of... Oh, I don't need that excluded anymore. Nothing too bad. Oh, hey, it's a rune. And wait, why is my. Oh, the Bugs Beast not at all to pick up right because I'm with Okumara, of course. Wait, Fire of the Spring is maybe something I actually do want. Hold up. I got a ring of like. Oh, those are just ice, but whatever. Um. Draw a remove from my shopping list, I guess that's fine. I mean, my Fire of the at the moment is not bad. Uh. Ooh. It's not doing as well as I'd like. If I try and lightning rod it, um. I probably should have started with like a scroll of points or something. Oh, don't mesmerize me. Fine, I'll put on a finesse, I guess. To try and get me back to that staircase. Yeah, I mean, I should have pulled the finesse for the Kraken, I think, probably. It's not like I'm shot on Pioneer or anything at the moment either. Or Squirrel Poison, I don't often use those ones. I probably don't use them as much as I should. They can be pretty good at the start of a fight, just to, well, get everything poisoned. It reduce how much damage you need to kill to kill everything or do to kill everything. Um, I gotta buff up here. Kind of a lot of guys. You can tell it's a, it's a holy level though where they have like trishillas of holy wrath instead of demon tridents. Oh, is this also like a random Trishilla lying on the ground? Sure. Oh, the Glaive of the God. I kind of wish it was a pole I'm character now because I have another character that could probably use the Glaive of the God. It's funny how all those guys are like still just happily in here. Um, I could actually shout. Are they all asleep or something? They didn't even notice me shouting. I must have just been slightly too quiet or something.
Oh, this still works. I was sort of trying to get them to come out of the distance or something, and that did work. Hey, Violet Flood, thanks. Well, that's nice going to, like, vaults and stuff, and, uh... Oh, it's nice a number of places. Uh, what did I need? Probably don't... Oh, wait. I might get that willpower. We'll see if I end up putting it back on or not. Well, not back on, on for the first time. I might put it on if I, um... If I swap shields or something and lose a bit of my willpower. It's possible. Alright, well, my next branch is probably the spider's nest, I reckon. Whoa. Do I want the regen or the reflection on here? I probably... I mean, the reflection's gonna get zomb spiders, but I might just do the regen amulet, I think. The, the spiders aren't exactly known for their range attacks, so they can reflect back. Apart from the orb spiders. Um... Wait, there's a moth of wrath. I think that's fine. Yeah, most of the... Most of the stuff's dead there, at least. Do I have any cancellation? Oh, I might not. I don't think this is the right place to be, because if I get badly corroded up, I've got no way of cancelling it. Do I have a resist electric, at least? I don't... Oh, I do. Okay, I might put the leather rubber and head to the vaults, actually, because I should have good enough willpower. Like, if I don't, I can make sure I do. Wait. Good, there we go. Ah, uh, but I should definitely go back to my reflection, and hopefully the vaults will also have a bigger shield, because I know that a lot of these vault guards love to have shields. I mean, they usually do like, plus zero tower shields, but that's fine. I'll take a plus zero tower shield if that's what's on offer. Oh, I thought that was looking like some sort of weird creature, so it's just a vault wand on a trap. That's kind of hilarious. Hey, there's also a possibility of finding a triple crossbow, albeit a small one in here, but the ranged weapons do tend to be in this place. Oh, there's a requirement. Okay. Maybe this will have a triple crossbow. No, it's got a heavy hand cannon. That's not going to quite work. There's also a staff. Doesn't quite work. I mean, I probably... No, I don't think the heavy hand cannon works, right? It's like... Oh, I mean, it's... Nah, it's 72 damage or whatever, which is more than my one, but it's like twice the attack delay, so in overall it's way less damage, well, a bit less damage. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not going to make sense, because I use two-handed weapons and one hand effectively. Uh, just get the manual of invocations, I mean, that's always useful. Not that I'm getting an invocations title, or am I? Ah... Uh... I haven't decided exactly what title I want to go for. I mean, I'm currently on the Mike's Head one, but I'm not sure I'm going to stick to that one. I can maybe just, like, swap gods at some stage and get, like, a... I don't know. Get a title that way or something. There's probably plenty of low piety titles. I don't even have to necessarily go for a low piety title. I can try for, like, a higher one. Do I have a Death Talisman? Granite talisman, flux talisman, no death talismans this time round, so. Well, not yet anyway. Uh, won't be death talisman upping. How good am I at hitting these guys? Uh, it's like, yeah, it's 50%, isn't it? It was like ghosts that's repelling all the missiles. The Polto Guardian or whatever it is. Okay, what do I want? I have to fighting up to 20, but I really should get some more shield skills soon. I reckon I probably should go for this title. I should try for another god one. I should look at what god titles I could get. So... Oh, no, I could get a penance one. How do you get Ashen Zari penance? Oh, I think the, the red background means you can't get it. Get hasty for Chamber Annals penance? I mean, I could totally get a Chamber Annals style, like, sluggish uh, forms, and I don't think I've had that one. 
Yeah, I'll probably just do something like that, I guess. Um, a Phantom's one, Walking Vandalizer. I mean, there's options here, but I might just try for like the, the sluggish one, I think. Because with that manual of invocations, it's going to be pretty easy to get a god title. I mean, a little bit funny swapping to Chamber Angels for the old run, though. That's uh, generally not the normal way of doing things. I care about Ancient Ogbo. It's not going to compete with us. Plus, 9 Longbow Flaming. Which I could try rebranding if I wanted to. Oh, it's fine, though. Plus four apples of freezing, that's not gonna compete either. Okay, can buy me on a mark me three percent. Well that really shows like just how good this um Willpower Magic God is. Oh Dex, Fire Ring, um Oh I can't really go with fire right now, but Dex is kinda nice. Maybe later on I can do that. Hold up, let me just read this identifier or whatever to get rid of it. Okay, I'll keep that round and then um, later on I can probably put that one on like when I'm... Ooh, this dude's shield's kind of nice. Hold up. Why don't I just beat it up for its shield? But that would require me to lose my reflection, I think. Let me go look at this shield, see if it's worthwhile. It might not be worth it just yet. Alright. I would gain, uh, like, five shield value. That might be worthwhile, maybe. No, probably not quite yet. Um, because I need to swap my Amulet Reflection for, like, an Amulet that gives willpower or something. Although, to be fair, I would gain some willpower on that, so maybe all right. But I would lose the ability to reflect back bolts, which sounds kind of handy in here. Although I do have some, I do have some enchant I could get that up to a really highly enchanted shield if I wanted to. Um, I don't know, I might get to the end of here and see if I found any like branded up shields. Um, Alright. You know, I will train up some more shields because I've decided to go for the invocations title instead of the mag's head title. So it should be fine if I train a skill over 20. There, Raid of the Vile yet? I need her one closer. Come on. My buff up. There we go. Now she's a Vile Ranger. That's why that she was going to summon her weapons before she even got in Rage of the Vile there. Good thing I buffed here because those trolls would have been able to surround me, but I, yeah, with the buff on there, it's just like trivial. Uh, I'll suppose the haste, alright. I guess I can add that inventory or something. And whoops, I need to read on... Potion of resistance, that was good, because I think I'm missing quite a lot of resist. How do I get in here? <laughs> Take the door. Uh, now Berserk Rage, I wonder if I got everything else. Oh, the experience and magic potion to identify. It's probably not a big deal that I've got magic identified. Like, sure, I can use that when I need to with Okawaru to, um, like if I somehow manage to rob myself with magic points when it gets drained by something and I want to do a buff, but it's not that useful. I guess, probably not. Now that I got some more shields to go, you know what I might if she swapped the shields and said, oh, that gets poison resistance, it's probably still fine. Yeah, not entirely sure about this, I do get clarity out of it, I get even more willpower than I had before. Not sure it's entirely worth it. Stand here so these orcs, uh, you know, get to me one at a time. Well... 
Not really, because that one... Oh. Man, this is what I take of my poison resist. I mean, a uh, poison guy straight away, so... Sure, it's fine, though. Where's back of battle though? I don't see a proper choke point here, unfortunately. Also gonna be one of the areas that's like meat, right? Like, uh, no? Yeah, there it is. There's a uh, sample of smoked deer, which uh, does seem quite appropriate. There's a, uh, like a hog and some lid worms hung up. I guess there were smoky eels as well. Plus one shield of cold resist? Nah, it's not that special. I just gotta quickly check range weapons, just make sure there's no triple crossbows, but I don't still look like armless and stuff. Uh, probably back up to, yeah, the choke point up here. Oh, there's, a, there's an area if you can pass where you can get some money. I don't actually know if I have, I do have pass I mean, I don't really need the money right now, I don't think, but like, it's free money, so... Sure, I'll get it. Uh, what's the pass It's A. It's actually a pretty bad chance of succeeding. Whatever, I'll just dig. <laughs> I mean, I could have just started with the digging, but... Ow. I'm gonna put on some finesse here. Ooh. That's not great at all. How much healing do I have? Here? Healing potion here. That doesn't heal me that much. I kind of worried here, actually. Um, I don't think if paralysis works with a jellyfish. This guy's messing me up, though. It's got willpower, right? Because I can't just fear it or something. That's a shame. Um,. Might go draw... Might draw the jellyfish, because I'm worried about the other guy, like, finishing me off after killing the jellyfish. Alright, I think this is fine. I can just heal up a bit before I have to fight the other guy. Alright. Oh, so there's a ton of degeneration potions in here. And for some reason, I wanted those, but I don't think anyone can actually drink degeneration, can they? Well, not if they're identified. Points be counted, I've got some money. I want to re reveal my way to wherever the bazaar is. How do I even get there? I guess I just walk down this way. I should be able to get there reasonably quickly because they got the regen on. I don't think I'm gonna yeah, work too long. Oh, there's Norris. Um. Also, apparently, like, a polter guardian? It's making a repel missiles? Oh, well. I'm sure if my missiles are repelled, they'll still hit something. Okay, now I can just go shopping. I probably should drop something first, though. Uh, magic region. Oh, I got a tag there, but did I get that one? I dropped the region. Okay, so I'll put on Dank's ring instead of, I think, uh, hold up. What's my damage doing? It's on, uh, 47. I might try to put it on the other hand, actually, see how that goes. I lose 4 evasion or something? I lose quite a bit of evasion. Still think that's worthwhile. I gained a little bit of shield out of it, so it's probably not too bad. Um... I should be training some dodging. I really should. I've been totally forgetting to do that one for whatever reason. Oh, an acquirement. Sure. I'll take one of those. What's it offering me? It's offering me a uh, manual of ranged. 
An Azul's Acrobat versus Negative versus Corrosion. Um, it's okay, but I think I might just take the manual range there. That was worth some money I spent on. It was only like 600 gold or something. So I should check out the other items here. Immolation. I, I don't think I did find this poison. Yeah, there's some stuff there. More fog. Uh, more poison. More vulnerability. All right. Oh, more fog. More fear. Ooh. Look at that. A cold resist. Resist courage in six days. That sounds pretty amazing. I should probably just grab that one. All right, so if I put that on instead of uh, the, like the slag, I'd probably stay around the same sort of damage. So I'm on uh, what, 51 damage? 51 damage, perfectly the same. Uh, but I got to get a little bit of evasion and shield out of it as well. So that's definitely worthwhile. Uh, do I need a cold resist or poison resist or something in there? I don't know, those aren't the best. Oh, it's a random slow on that does. Uh, that radiant I'm on now, it's not going to help. All right. I think I might just go buy, like, all this junk, um, well, consumables, it's not junk, it's something. Uh. And then I'll just call it a day, I think, in this bazaar, but that was, uh, that was really good with the rig. Alright, I can probably actually drop the evasion one, or the slaying one, whatever it is I'm carrying around. Yeah, in fact, my, I definitely should be training the evasion with, uh, fib, uh what, 35 evasion on this character, not evasion decks on this character. And I'm already up to 16 evasion. What did I start with? It was like around 14 or something. I don't know. Hey, level up. Let's get some more decks. Bring my evasion up to 17. And it probably, well, presumably, increase my damage as well. I have 52 damage. So I get an extra point of that. Okay. Eighteen evasion. You know what? I might actually turn off the shields for now. I'll turn it back on, but I just want to get the uh, dodging up because I... Kind of forgot to get that for quite some time with this character, which means it's a bit behind. Because the Sarah should have high shield and high evade for this character. That's going to be their main defenses. If I was uh, feeling like I was falling behind with this character, I would charge up my shield, but I don't feel like I'm falling behind right now, so I'm not going to charge up just yet. I'll wait till I've done the vaults, which is actually pretty soon. And then I'll check for a shield, and then if I haven't found a better one, I'll just enchant my current one, I think. Wait, that's just everything. I'm going to check uh, specifically shields. Alright, unfortunately, the poison resist on this one is kind of nice. Um, I'm sure there's another way to really easily get poison resist, unfortunately. But anyway, I'll charge up my shield. I thought it was a ring of poison. Oh, it was in the bazaar, wasn't it? The ring of poison resist. Well, that's a shame, because that's going to send me into spider this with no poison resist. But at least I got some better defenses than last time I came in here, so it might not end up mattering, because these things don't do clouds of poison, at least. Fire's not the best type of damage. Um, how am I resist right now? Hold up. Two cold resists, which is not terrible. Huh. That's a, that's a fire one if I were to even out my resist, which I'm not sure I do in here, though. Actually. I might as, um, I don't know. Do a little bit of doing that, but I think it's maybe alright, because it's the whole fiery, um... Are they like wasps or something? Fire, something? 
Sun Moth, I think is what they're called. It's probably best to have one of each. I mean, it's certainly better than other branches to have one of each. Am I still wearing my resistant lantern? Is that actually what I want to be wearing in here? Because I could put on some other kind of resistance. Unfortunately, no leather armor of a... Uh... I mean, it's fine because it's spark was, but uh, no leather armor of poison resistance on me because that would probably be fairly ideal. Oh, I might buff up. I feel like I'm getting kind of beaten up here. I actually care about Tom sales, which is kind of nice. Well, I kind of somewhat care about them, I guess, but just not that much. Like, because I don't think they, they do a little bit of damage in melee, uh, but I think they're quite slow, so they're really not that scary. When you're immune to slow, so they uh, give their slow aura. Alright, what have we got here? Just uh, oh, another Dato or Dato. I don't even know I'm picking those ones up, but I'll probably end up picking up some more after dropping those ones anyway. Because I think Okuwari just constantly keeps on gifting me a stream of the throwable stuff. I'm just, even if I don't uh, end up using any of the throwable stuff. Uh. I want to back you up a little bit. In fact, I think I want to put on the finesse because I'm getting kind of corroded right now. It's all right. It's just, uh, actually, it's not adding up. I thought it was going to add up, but uh, I was completely wrong about that. It doesn't matter. I'm still back some piety. This is like so much easier than the first time we came in here. I know if, uh, it's probably a lot of that to do with the fact that I've actually got some evasion and shield value now. Like last time we came in here, I didn't have much of the way physical defenses. Yeah, like the evasion's going well. 25, that's gone up a lot. It's gone up like 10 just from training the dodge. I definitely should have got that earlier. I wonder how much have I been training the dodging to? Like at the moment, it's only like 12 or something. It hasn't even gone up that much. It'll probably take it up to like 20 or something. <laughs> Give me a, like a, a fairly good chunk of evasion, I reckon. Alright, so there's the way down. Uh, I still have nothing to identify, right? Yeah, I'm still missing that one potion of whatever it is. Uh, magic, which isn't that important. Alright, well, I'll do, I'll do every other rest of the level before I go pop open the rune vault, I think. Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter too much in terms of, like, teleporting, because I can't do that anyway. But, I mean, it's good, nice not having to worry about things sneaking up behind you, I guess. Okay, let's put on some finesse now before my magic points get drained. Yeah, it's Finesse is doing such a good job of keeping the creatures away from me. Just killing everything at a distance. I love Finesse on range characters. It's such a great ability. Because um, uh, with range, it's not like... Like, VW on damage, it's actually a huge increase. Because um, you also spend, like, less of the time when creatures can actually deal damage to you. Because you... Like, if you do enough damage, you can kill everything before it gets up to you. So you don't really need too much defenses. I mean... Need a bet for them, like when you go down the staircases and stuff. But it's just a, it's such a nice way that like your how your survivability effectively goes up as well, just because you're killing things before they get up to you. All 
All right, what's the scarf? Uh, uh, I think I got the repulsion one on sale, which is probably not that sensible. I can probably go buy myself some better scarves or something, I reckon. Uh, more cloaks, actually, maybe. Why does six Scrooge is not ideal? I mean, it's fine, but it's... I don't want to run out of, like, damage, basically, because sometimes you can have a character that runs out of the ability to deal damage because they're just way too corroded. Oh, so that could be good. A scarf of fire resist. Um, it's minus two decks, though. The same invisible doesn't do anything because they can already do that. Um, I mean, it's fine. I think I can swap a fire to cold resist around and stuff, so like... Maybe worth it? Yeah, probably. Oh, probably worth it. Let's put it on. Alright. Uh, I could put the... What was it? The other ring back on. So I'm effectively just losing one deck, so I think... I'm getting a cold resist, so I guess that's alright. Alright, well, I got my two runes. It's time to go to... I can, I mean, I got uh, willpower, I can go to the Elven Halls. I might actually buff up. I hope I trust these guys, because they both get fairly dangerous guys. I mean, it didn't manage to hit me with anything, but that doesn't mean that they could do damnation and crystal spear and stuff. And all that sort of scary stuff. I was able to faith, hey, that's what my last character was uh, lacking when they were trying to get their title. I was like, oh my god, uh, I can't get a title because I don't have an able to faith to reduce my piety. Man, that was, uh, that was yeah, a little bit rough with the last character, but hey, at least this character's got a faith. And I was going for a, was I going for a piety title. I decided there was something I could get with piety titles. Um, Got like endless and giant weapons this time around because my weapon started up like plus seven, so it didn't really take a lot to charge it up. Good dodging. Oh, I was going to bring dodging all the way up to 20. It's worth it. Um, but I might also get the shields going at the same time. Louis definitely can't bash me. That's right. I got basically max out willpower, no shields, uh, nothing. But it'd be hard to compete because I've already charged my shield up to plus eight right now. So yeah, it's um. I mean, I might if I found enough and charged up or something, be able to charge up another shield, but it's unlikely. Oh hey, Saint Ruka, I can just stand on these guys. I think. And if I need to, I can dig into this wall as well, which is kind of nice. But I don't think I'm gonna need to. This looks like it's going pretty well. Yeah, I mean, that's a late Saint Roker. It's way later than Ulkish Mines. Uh, Saint Roker, I mean, how tough they are is basically... Oh, six stakes for ring mail. How tough they are is basically based on when you find them. Um, Huh. Let's even pick it up. I don't, know, I don't know if I'll put that on right now. The resist electric speed kind of handy. I'm not sure if I would put it on, but if I find another resist electric, maybe... Oh, your Pangs goes. They do uh, Searing Ray, Hawfrost Cannonade. Hey, they got a Hawfrost Cannonade. Sounds like it's a, it sounds like it's quite a fun spell. I should do an Ice Elementalist at some stage. I wonder if I could do like a... Oh, I've done a Bubby Ice Elementalist. Um, hmm. I don't know then. I was thinking like a Bubby Ice Elementalist go deck, but I've already done a Bubby Ice Elementalist. Uh... I think I tell a Muddy Earth Elementalist as well, because I kind of start as one of those. And then get into the ice later on. Um, I don't know. Gotta be something I can do. I don't really need to do the Hall of Blades, but I don't think it'll be too bad. I'm doing it anyway. Could be famous last words, though. If I, um... Yeah, I get taken down with something in here. Ooh. I actually buff up because I feel like Asriel's around here somewhere. Because I've got one of those hounds. One of those fire elementals. Do I even have fire resist? Yeah, I do. Alright. 
Wait, can he see his own fire? I want him to be able to see his own hellhound. So he doesn't throw out the damnation at me or something. Oh, we did do the damnation anyway, okay. Oh, I gotta do something against an execution of Zags. I feel like a one of light might work okay. It's only like 50% ahead. Hold up. So my chance of hitting this guy out the front. Oh, not too bad. 50% or something. So I just keep on shooting. There we go. That worked. Kind of a lot of guys. I think fear works for the majority of these things. Um, Probably going to have to duel someone at some stage. Hoping that some of these things are at least worthy to be jewels. But I might not have to duel anything. It's just that it would have been an option to get my health back, duel something, and then drink an ambrosia after fighting. Uh, brand weapon, um, sure, I'll try for another brand, I guess, uh, <laughs> no, it's more like around, oh, heavy, 1.1 attack delay, uh, not massively keen on this being heavy, I might just go and rebrand that, because I do have a stack of those somewhere, I mean, it's okay, it's just, uh, I don't know if it works the best with the whole, like, shields, because there's a max number of blocks per turn, and if I'm tanking kind of slow, then I'm going to be hitting that max blocks per turn a bit more. And I do have 37 shield value, so it's one of my main uh, defenses. I mean, the heavy is definitely fine. It's just, I don't know. I'm trying for, like, freezing or something. If I end up back at flaming, I mean, that's fine. What's that's obviously wrong. Uh, chaos. Well, so much for that. Oh, I mean, I guess heavy is fine. I'll give it a try for a while. Um, see how it goes. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't uh, care about the enemy reserves, so that's something at least. And it's kind of like using a triple crossbow, actually. What's the damage? 81? Yeah, it's kind of like a low damage triple crossbow, I guess. Well, that brand triple crossbow would probably be to be around here. Uh, maybe we should leave the castle to like, uh, after I've done the rest of the level. It's funny how it knows it doesn't need to explore there because this is the edge of the map. I wonder if there's like any easy way of figuring out that it's the edge of the map yourself. I mean, I guess on the other side, uh, yeah, I guess technically I do know it's the edge of the map, don't I? I gotta buff up, because this guy got so many summons in front of it, and I don't have a... Oh, well, I got a wand of light that can shoot behind uh, summons. Don't have much else. <laughs> it doesn't actually end up mattering the buffs, so... Was so powerful, I just died? That's way too much stuff. I'm kind of worried about how much stuff I've pulled off here. Ah, oh, don't shoot the cannons. Ah, oh, don't- Ah, I gave it the cannons. Of course, this guy got brought back to life. Oh, the cannons are getting to the point where they're doing their, uh, grand, like, final attack. I'm actually remarkably fine here. Like, my health is somehow staying up. I know I've got like, uh, I've got one resource of regen at least, but that was uh, better than I was expecting that to go. Alright, uh, I don't know if I, oh, maybe I should be carrying around a flight or something, I don't know. Yeah, actually, I probably should. I can drop the, oh, maybe I should be, I don't know if I should be wearing repulsion or what I should be wearing in here, I can drop. Probably draw the flame, I mean, that's not that useful. Just carry around the flight in case I need it, but then... Mm.
So a lot of guys here, I think I might just throw an emulation down and then try and get some of these guys with a wand of light. Alright, that seems to do the trick. Nice, uh, I've actually been able to emulate some guys. Uh... Got a regen emblem with three strats. If I ever want to go back to regen, that's uh that would be the thing to use. But what am I actually using right now? I'm using the willpower one, which I might want to then eventually go back to the regen, I'm not sure. I don't need the crystal plate armor. I did decide to go with like swords or something. Otherwise I might be able to make use of the crystal plate armor or something. Uh, those boots are just electric, but I've got the... something. You've got something? Boots are regen. Those strength and intelligence, but they randomly corrode you sometimes. If I were to free up, what would it free up? It would free up my armor, which I don't have the best, like, armor and other slots anyway, so, like... Oh, look, currently, though, I don't need those boots. So if I found the good armor, though, like maybe some fairy dragon armor or whatever, I might be able to put those on or whatever. Oh. Just kill this guy. In fact, I might just buff up just in case. Because I'd be flying quite a distance from my staircase. Yeah, I mean, look at this. I'm just killing absolutely everything before I get to me. That's definitely the, the benefit of finesse with a heavy ranged weapon that does such good damage. And I guess it means your shield's probably not going to have to worry about, like, the max blocks per turn anymore. Maybe a heavy weapon was actually a good idea with this character. I mean, I was trying for a freezing, but a heavy will uh, be good against orbs of fire at least. Check out this ghost, but I probably won't end up fighting it. I might be able to find them the earlier one. It's Yin 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 ghost? A Minotaur Cinderacolite of Jiva. That's not like a fun character to play. Jiva character. Turn everyone to slimes. And of course the sound of the Cinderacolite. Like I feel like most of the Jiva characters probably do these days. Um but I could check, like, the last, uh, what would it be? I might just check, like, uh, what stats people start with the, end up with Jeeva on. How would I actually do that, though? Uh. Wait, so it would be, I mean, God would eat with Jeeva. Is it? Oh, I gotta stop by something though. Is it background or. Might be background, but I feel like it wasn't background. No, I think it was class? Give it a try. Oh, so people are mainly. Oh, mainly fighters apparently recently. Shapeshifters, gladiators, monks, summoners, hunters, conjurers, chaos knights. Wait, is Karen not that Karen or something? I'm really surprised that oh, the Cinderacolites are down there with only 69 of them. That's kind of a surprise. I was expecting more Cinderacolites because I feel like all the ghosts they see on, uh, of Jeeva are like Cinderacolites. I feel like most of my Jeeva characters have been Cinderacolites. I mean, sure, you get the faded altars of Jeeva. And sometimes you just want to wait till you get Jeeva, but. I'm kind of surprised that there were way more fighters. And shapeshifters. I mean, shapeshifters kind of makes sense. Shapeshifters of Jeeva are a lot of fun. I don't think I buff up here. I think this is just... Yeah, this is trivial. Beijing Jan is always trivial, but she was that time round. Alright, uh... Whoa. Is there a charge for around here? Yeah, okay. So the judge's got fairy dragon armor, with poison resist, resist, corrosion. I might have put that on at some stage. I've also got base regen. Because I do have the, I need the poison resist at some stage. What do I lose my current armor? It's, uh, something. 
Where is it? Or is this electric? Oh. Huh. Nah, I'm going up, actually. That's, uh, that's not somewhere I want to stay down. Do I have, like, two staircases here or something? Kind of feels like it. I could be wrong, but. All right, next group of creatures is not a. Uh, oh, wait, let's go up. It's a simulacrum. It's not a bad area for fighting creatures. All right, there's the enchantress. I'll definitely put on my. Um, Finesse, okay. Uh I'll try and emulate some of these. This is even gonna work? Okay, it did end an explosion. This is not actually that that's not working very well, is it? That might have been a mistake. Um Hold on, I might emulate these guys again, but I'm just not sure this wasn't a mistake. Oh, two of them moved next to me? That's not right. I'm going to drink a healing potion. Okay. Don't blow me up too much. Oh, I'm getting poisoned by this guy. I might have to drink another one of these healing potions. This is not great. Um. Okay. Oh, that fairy dragon armor happened on it, so it has a... It doesn't have that much, it has to resist poison. It's definitely something I could think about getting. Okay, let me take a look. If I put this on... Gain 4 armor class, lose like 1 or 2 evasion, alright. Um... If I lost my regen, how bad would that be? Because I can swap to the other boots. That could be bad because I don't think I've got another source. Unless I swap lose my willpower as well, which might be alright. Um, put on the fairy dragon armor. Put on the boots. So let's put on the regen armor. Let's see how that looks. I mean, uh, I'm missing resist metric now. My willpower is down to two. But this might actually not be terrible. It definitely looks fancy with the fairy dragon armor on. Okay, what do I want? Uh, Rage just got a manual on it, which is kind of nice, I suppose. Um, but I might just get the evocations up a bit. But that's what I'm going for the title from. I can't even really remember what god I like, picked out as one that I could get, but that's, I can probably just look at the list again. I think there's a number of them. I think from Quasal to uh, Chabriados, I think. Oh, it might be Chabriados. I have to mess up. Make my shield a little bit more effective if nothing else. Uh... So I need not just bog, alright, what else? Where does this character actually want to go to get their runes? I haven't decided on that one quite yet. So I can go to... Um... I can probably go to Slime Pits. Ooh. These walls are diggable. That's a bit of a problem because they could get constricted here. Can I keep them back up, actually? There we go. That's better. <laughs> Find the one little piece of diggable walls. Unfortunately, it doesn't uh, take me from everything. Doesn't protect me for the leaves from having deconstruct. Oh, I should drink a cure actually. Um, that diapers. I mean, I don't think it's gonna get too much of a chance for the uh, confusion to wear off here. I think he's got a pretty good chance of putting it on me. Oh, this could be a problem. Getting yeah, uh, like. Basically, stun logged with the confusion because you can't really hit while confused with a rage weapon. Just doesn't quite work. I've tried it before. You just kind of shoot in a random direction, so on like one eighth chance of just shooting in the right direction. Not very good. Uh, I might stop the invocations. 
I don't know, 26. It's actually kind of high, but it will get into my high scale so that I don't uh, worry too much about time. Actually, you know, I'm not even going to put a limit on that one. I'm just going to let it go all the way to 27. Then I don't have to worry about uh, messing up my title or something by trading something else too high or whatever. Oh, hey, Soldier Bow, I might buff up. Soldier Bow used to be, like, really impossible to hit with ranged weapons, Ollie. It's still, like, 38% to, uh, failure on that one. Um, watch it, Tet. Got a little bit of roots. I just killed this dude in front. Uh, that's not what I want to see. The question what I got is just dual Soldier Bow to get rid of those guys, but then she might bring the back in, which could be a problem. So I got a Viler up. Alright, good. Roots are up. Yeah, okay, the roots are definitely doing the trick. She's not gonna stand a chance there. No, she's dead already. What'd she have? Willpower, fire, this poison, or this AC ring? That's actually interesting. Hold on, I might better use that. <laughs> Let me think about this. So. Fire is useful, Wolf is useful, what am I losing? I'm losing Dex, aren't I? Uh... I put back on my regen boots, if I put back on my leather rubber resist electric, oh, I can't deal with this dude. And then if I put back on, uh, well if I put on this ring over here, instead of the Dex, am I good? Let's see, I mean my resist are good. My wolf is good. My physical defense are down just like a tiny bit, but not like that much. Hey, this is my magic potion. Um, damage down to 77. I think that's probably good. Yeah, my uh, AC is up, so I think my defenses overall are pretty uh, similar. I just lost a little bit of damage. Alright, well, two more levels of devs, so I've got to go here, and then one, and then I've got to decide somewhere to get a rune. Oh, that's not going to work. That was a little summoned anyway. That was real, but I'll try shooting the summoner here. There we go. I could try, uh, like, stand dancing the bolts. So in fact, I kind of tempted to, but I might try doing, like, the slide bits and the bolts um, with this character. I feel like it should. <laughs> Take out the elephant. That one's... It's okay because they got two fire this, but uh, elephants can't be bad. a lot of Dinoflins, but like, I got two willpower on the two region I made at the moment. Like, kind of just healing up at the same sort of rate that they managed to damage me. Oh yeah, so I fell on the elephant graveyard, all the skeletal, well, skeletons lying around. Should I actually get a little bit closer to Boris so he doesn't get me with the big orb of destruction? Yeah, I'll try to bring Josephine around this corner. She should be fine. She does like to throw simulacrums at you for some extra damage, but I think she's good. And of course, she always has her ice ring, but this was not very good. It's just resist corrosion, resist negative. Ice, of course, and minus five strength. Oh, she does have talisman of death. Oh, that's... Is that something I want to get, like, going right now? Uh... Hold up. Maybe. You know what? I think, I think this character might want to get that one going. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. 
It's not like you lose too much losing potions. I mean, you lose healing potions, but half the potions don't even really work properly with this character. Like, mine doesn't do it, I think, right? Um, I hope that was all right going into here. I think it was. Yeah, I think I'd rather be fighting in a choke point than trying to stand down to those guys or something. I wonder what that shape turning will get to where it needs to be by the time I get into... I think I'll do extended with this character. Hopefully it'll be where it needs to be by the time I get into extended. That also gives me more options with gods, but I could just stay with Okawaru throughout extended. I don't know, there's kind of not really bad or... Extended gods for a character that's going to be using a death talisman. I mean, there's other choices that work just as well, but it's not really like better choice they can think of. Nah, you more crystal plate armor. I really don't think this character can get the strength required to use that. Oh, got a ring of cold that's invisible. Don't need the cannon. Oh god, right, I have the invisible already. That's actually a pretty bad ring. I guess I'm just turning this into money because those items are pretty useless, I think. Alright, well, I'm done with the depths. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try the bolts just with stand on things, see how that goes. I'm just a little worried about, like, trying to take out the guys that seal up the staircases. I mean, uh, I'll just escape hatch, but I don't think I'll take it just yet. I can try and, like, duel them if I really have to. Alright, well, there's one of them there. How do I take it out? <laughs> um... Oh, I might have to duel it. Whoa, what happened to these dudes? They go give a demon tridents? Okay. Sorry, at half health. Hold up. No, I'm gonna have to duel. Okay. But I might just heal myself up just a little bit before I get out of here. Put on the finesse, put on the ambrosia. Good, I can bring these guys upstairs. Excellent, that's what I like to see. I think I go try the escape hatch, but this is risky if it doesn't work out. This looks fine. And I've attracted some of the guys to the center, which is definitely excellent. That means the last guys for me to fight for the rest of this level. I should probably take out the guys to try to recall here. Oh, the random health, but that means it's Marjorie, right? Pretty sure that means it's Marjorie. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Let me just put on some finesse here. Hold on. Yeah, there's Marjorie. So, uh, how's my fire system doing all right, right? But some of these guys are going to go berserk, which could be a bit of a problem. But I'm going to emulate something. Oh good, the shape- oh, it's just a shape shifter. That's excellent. That's what exactly what I want to see. But I'm gonna... Light it noisy. Do I do it anyway? I think I do. Alright, that's the last charge of the lightning rod. Okay. Back up a little bit. You can see all the other things on the side of the side of the wall that were attracted in by the noise I just made, unfortunately. Which uh, could be could end up being a problem here. I'll put on a bit of heroism just to so buff up my defenses just a little bit. Man, so many hand cannons all around on this level, I can definitely see them all. Yeah, I think that was the right choice, so I'm just trying to blow everyone up there also. Uh, I guess I could choose this guy. This is a Dreadlich was also it. 
fairly high priority target. Oh, there's another guy for me to shoot. Yeah, this, uh, this seems to be the right way to do things. Alright, well, it's probably actually a decent amount of this level actually clad, even though it doesn't look like I've done a, a lot of the level, because, uh... What's there? Are there also items here that could be good? There's a quarter stuff that I don't care about. Well, not very well. A ring of poison for this. I don't think I need that anymore. I got poison for this from something. I know that. Uh, for a ring, right? That did other things. Yeah, so definitely don't need a ring of poison for this. A small boots of resist electric is a minus willpower one, though. Um, I'm pretty sure my boots of resist electric are fine. They're like random corrode, but they're pretty similar. They apparently let you blink, which is not going to mean much for a form set. How's that uh, shapeshifter going? Almost 14. I still got a way to go. If I want to be a lich. Do I even have any armor to a chart? Nope, apparently not. You ain't carrying the armor which can be a chart further. Yup. They were like uh, rage weapons. They don't have any rage weapons that can be enchanted. Although I should change the check for that. I think I would have noticed the way to sort of trim crossbow, but maybe not. No, I ain't in none of those. I don't think I need buff up just yet. Oh, maybe I should. I only have minus two corrosion, but I still always get a bit, uh, bit nervous when I start getting corroded up. I think it was fine. I think it was just like a lucky acid ball to one of those guys. So I probably didn't really need to um, buff up, but it's fine. Alright, final level already? That's pretty early. Uh, well, obviously I'm getting some more decks. <laughs> Alright. I'm pretty sure those guys that try and mark can't actually mark me. I'm pretty sure my willpower's like... Oh, wait, no. My willpower's not maxed right now. I must have swapped out. I think I'm actually wearing the regen instead right now. Right. Which is a fairly sensible thing to be wearing, but it does mean I theoretically could have got mic to some stage in here. I mean, it probably wouldn't matter if I got mic'd now, I could just retreat back to a corridor and just uh, find everything that came along, but it wouldn't have mattered earlier. What is my armor again? I know something, it's resist electric, I might just drop that dex armor, I don't think it's gonna, gonna happen with this character. I don't think it's going to be worthwhile anyway. All right. That's the poison resist ring, right? It's kind of hiding as a pretending to be a good ring. So my cloak was like resist uh, fire, but it's not that good apart from the resist fire. All right. Well, that's uh, boss five pretty well clad. I've looked at all these items. Yeah, looking at the artifacts here, it's giving over everything else. Staff of Killer Bees Regret. Nope, don't need that. Now nah, I've looked at all that stuff. Alright, well, um, I might actually go to the... Oh, hold on. How close am I getting... Oh, I can't quite get the shape to go. I might go to the slime pits anyway. I've got... Uh, how many mutations? Seven. It's fine. Oh, oh, reject some healing effects. Minus two edge. Right, it sounds like I might uh, be doing some resetting. 
Also, the method for killing the raw jelly when you can't teleport out afterwards. Mmm. That seem mildly questionable being in here. I mean, the first few levels are fine, but... Be nice if I get to trade the raw jelly while I'm there in the same case. I don't know, though. This is a little questionable. I mean, there's my way down. Alright, see what the layout, layout of this level's like. It's one of these ones. And the Royal Jelly's just kind of on this level somewhere randomly, I'm pretty sure. Somewhere around the center, even. It's funny how performances, like, can't be hasted, but they can still be, like, Okawaru'd. Oh, the, like, the Okawaru finesse and stuff. You know, effectively, like, I mean, like, your move delay is uh, the same, but your attack delay is, like, really good. It's, uh, yeah, it's a really nice thing to have. Oh, there's the raw jelly. All right. I want, uh... I don't want that eyeball to do stuff, bad stuff to me, but I might start a bit of immolation going. Huh. Okay. Do I have much of the way of, like, AoE stuff? stuff right now. I mean, the Royal Jelly's dead, but I think I just gotta, I'm kind of in a choke point. I gotta reduce how many things are around me, I think. Minus 6 Corrosion's fine. Yeah, this looks like it's going fine. Everything's completely fine. And I can check my skills again. 17 of the shape-shifting. It's doing pretty well. Should be a rune in one of these rooms. Look at the Sword of Zogodrock. I think that's a double sword. So I think for a lot of characters, it's actually not too bad. Um, I haven't got to use it a lot because I think uh, I haven't well, turned up that much. It's leather arm resist, electric resist poison. Those are the kind of resist I need. Is that worthwhile? I mean, uh, resist poison I'm getting off a ring, which is also willpower AC. <coughs> Oh, fire is now. It's probably not worth it. I think I'll just go with what I've currently got with a couple more AC and just get the resistance, uh, poison for the ring. I actually don't need to be here anymore, do I? You just go do the last uh, vault full of items and then just get out of here, I reckon. Like the stuff and stuff. Yeah, I should just go to uh, get out of here. I haven't quite got the shape should have good enough for the armor, but I might still do a reset with these mutations, I think. Fire is a minus co resist. Ah! Uh... That's okay, I guess. Let's just go to the Zot with that, I guess. Uh, see how that goes. Try to bring something real upstairs here, because these are like summoned little guys. I don't think I can go Berserk, in fact, I definitely can't go Berserk, which is kind of nice in here when there's, like, the Moth of Wrath around. I mean, it doesn't help solve the Moth of Wrath setting other guys Berserk or anything. Man, I love these choke points. Just the hiding in the walls. In fact, it's really easy to make the choke points in here as a form of sword because, uh, you don't dig very fast so there's less chance you pop out the other side or something.
I have no resist dagger, which could be a problem with the Shadow Dragons until I get my, like, uh, dag for a mutation going, then I'll have, uh, all the resist negative I could ever need, but that needs four more skill, which is probably gonna be... I'm guessing around the end of Zod, actually. Ooh, there's, a. Uh... Something in here. I can't tell what the creatures are, so I probably won't go in there. But I think if you make enough noise, they eventually open up the doors and you can see what they are when they come to the edge. Unless it's butterflies, and I guess they don't, because butterflies probably can't open doors, I'd imagine. Actually, I, I don't actually know that for certain, but I would not imagine a butterfly could open a door. Why does Lignify? Then I've got nothing to worry about here, otherwise I'm going to get tormented. I'm saving my magic mappings because I might end up using those as an extended. Also, they're not quite as useful when I'm a form in any way in here. Stop the fire. I'm definitely going to buff up. Go good fire resistance is just the mutations that are kind of. I love to find. That's not what I had before. I don't think it changed them. Yeah, the mutations are kind of the worry there. Uh, yeah, still need what two and a half skill or something. I mean, so it's, uh, it's on on track. What's I actually saving up for anything? I mean, it's still the glimmering leather armor. I still more enchant if I need a different shield. The number of cloaks, um, if I want to try some of those, I don't know. <laughs> They're not looking that tempting. I, mean, I suppose there's no real downside to like triangle that stuff or something, but uh, I'm wearing like cloak of what's well, that scarf fire resist right now. It's not actually a perfect scarf fire resist, but. It's all right. In fact, it might actually be worth swapping that out at some stage and then... Hmm. When I become a ledger, I can probably take off that poison resist ring and put back on one of the dex ones. And that could allow me to swap out that cloak for another one. So hopefully I find something that's a decent cloak. Yeah, that's probably what it's worth. Once I get a ledge form, I think it's worth going through cloaks and trying to find another one. I don't care about that hand axe. Alright, well I'm done with that level. Um, ledge form's not quite there, but it's getting close. I might magic map out this level because this is often fairly tough as a form said. Alright, well, how's the traps? Uh, fine. The teleport traps, which is actually good. We are linked with other forms then, right? So I can use them to teleport out the enemies. Well, I'm to worry about getting myself teleported out. I think once I got net traps, so I probably can't really do that, but I can do the side that's just like... This is fine, I think. Yeah, it's fine. You can do the side that's just a uh, teleport trap on its own. Fight that shift and try to like shift me around. Uh, fine, I think. I got a crystal spear and it actually managed to hit me. I gotta keep a close eye on my hit points now. Because that guy hits me six times with Quicksilver, I'm gonna have to heal up a little bit. Alright, that's looking alright. Um, Where did I leave my death tallies, but anyway? Because I know there was one on like Josephine. There it is. Oh, apparently there's another one somewhere as well. Uh... Fair drink, no, sounds good because I'm not going to need the points for this. You know, I'm just going to pop the death tallies and see how that looks. I mean, pretty good. I'm missing one coal resist. All right. I'm kind of tempted to try and reset those mutations, but uh, yeah, I might actually. Before I lock them in here. 
So I've got uh, Poison Resistance Mana, Mapping Air around me. I might try it once more, maybe twice more. Oh, uh, kind of slowly for me drain this old one. I would lock in. Frail, okay. Yes, yeah, so as soon as I get good ones, I should go with that. So I've got Int, the Arm of Fitz Folly. Come on. Yeah, I should have stopped, but I, I could. Oh, plus one AC, they'll do. Sure, whatever. Um, <laughs> now I'm one shot of the fire resist. Sure, that's fine. Uh, take off. Oh, that one loses. Oh, hold on. I still try swapping that one, but that one's actually giving the fire resist, which is kind of nice. So I lost the AC, but I gained a bit of advantage. And, right, so I'm down to fire and a cold resist right now. I mean, they can't really take off that fire resist, can I? Alright, sure. Well, I can go to... Go to Crypt and tell like, this form is actually probably usable, I think. What's my damage right now? 80-something? It's making some progress, I suppose. I guess uh, Heavy is probably one of the better brands I could be using right now because uh, it works with everything. A lot of the things that extended have kind of a lot of resist. I mean, a lot of things that Crypt do as well. I think Ghost Girls are too bad because, like, they can't dominate me. They can summon in things, but that's about it, right? Uh, I can't fly, so I don't even see any good treasure in there, though. It's just money. Which I'm pretty sure I got like 4,000 or more money than I actually need. Alright, well the first one of the crit was obviously pretty trivial with Lich Fob. Uh, but I'm going to quickly check for like a triple crossbow. I mean that would have showed up right if there was a triple crossbow. Uh, I don't look like any triple end of things. No triple swords, no triple crossbows, nothing. I don't think I can be flayed as a lich either. Alright. Uh, I have a lot of stuff coming along and I don't think these walls are diggable, so I'm just gonna have to tank where I am, I guess. Because it's the best choke point I can actually, well, vaguely a choke point, I can actually see. I like this area where I can just get into an actual proper choke point and fight things. Hey, there we go. Lich Bomb's maxed out. So, what do I need? Um, I mean, a bit more range is fine. I'll bring that up to 24. Same with a bit more fighting. I'll bring that up as well. Or maybe 25 to, uh, oh, whatever. I don't know what happened there. Um, you know, actually, let's go with 26. And I'll bring the shields up to 26 as well. I'll bring the dodging up. I'll bring basically everything up. Because I think that's all I really need to focus on right now is those uh, sort of uh, physical kind of skills. Oh, hey, Chadleywick. Coming up with a raid there. Let me see if I can get a shout out there. I think everyone around here probably knows Chadleywick, though. At least I'd sure hope so. What were you streaming today, uh, the Chadleywick? Oh, why is this not? Auto completing. It's uh, am I timing the wrong thing? There we go. Shout out to be started. You're playing Fallout seventy six with your bro. Ah, oh, yeah, I've seen you. I've uh, seen a couple of your streams of that. Well, part of them. I don't think I managed all stream. I've never actually personally tried Fallout 76. I played like some of the other Fallout ones, but I haven't played any of the real recent ones or anything. Whoa, this ghost looks tough. Minotaur Gladiator of Hepler Quarter. It did like 50 damage. It got lots of AC, lots of evasion. I'm gonna leave them be. Oh, the Crypt Scary yet? I, I don't know how much longer I'll go on today with this character because I started a bit later than usual. Um, I could definitely go for a bit longer, but I, I can't go on all night. 
I'm I'm just tempted. I'm tossing up whether this time for extended. This time to start extended. I think. I'm just not sure. And depends how fast this character goes. Whether I'll be able to finish extended today or not. That's definitely uh definitely going through the crypt nice and fast though because there's nothing in here that's really too much of a threat. Thankfully. I seem to remember one of the things that kind of put me off, like, Fallout games a bit, I mean, it's that, like, ammo was kind of rare and I was really bad at managing it. I mean, it makes sense for the, like, whole post-apocalyptic type setting, I just didn't find it particularly fun as a gameplay mechanic. Um, and the Fallout game that I played the most, which was, uh, what, Fallout New Vegas, I think, I ended up with, like, an energy weapon that didn't need ammo, it just, like, recharged itself. Um, it was just, like, a random one. I think I just, like, grabbed a Novak or something. <laughs> like, really early on, and it was actually a really, really good energy weapon. I can't even remember what it was called. It was, like, the... I can't even remember. I remember that being, uh, kind of the main reason I stuck to the game, is I didn't have to worry about ammo. <laughs> Oh, what is this? Fire this willpower. I've got a fire this willpower ring. No, I don't need this one. Ghost crabs are kind of an unusual thing to see in the crypt because they're actually living, aren't they? Or are they ghosts? They leave bodies though, don't they? That's actually kind of weird now I think about it. Why does a ghost crab leave a corpse? Is it not a ghost? Huh. Actually, if I ask the bot, can it tell me whether it's living or not? Uh, should be able to say, right? Oh. It says it's a... Where does it say? It should say it here somewhere. It says it's undead. Right, so it should be a ghost. It just, uh, it's an undead creature that leaves the corpse. Hmm. I've got a rig of slaying willpower. Doesn't actually do much else because the other things I've already got from the death tallies, but I don't think that's worthwhile. I just thought about, like, how weird that is for a ghost crab to leave a corpse until now. Alright, how much more of the crypt is there left? I don't think there's much. I'm pretty much done here. I think with this character having a decent amount of regen, that makes sense to do a pandemonium first. Because pandemonium's like easier than hell's, uh, so yeah, it does make sense to do it first. I don't think I need these. One is like minus core resistance and magic points, and the other one's fire resist. It's minus strength. It's really not that good compared with the dex rings they've got currently. Alright, good, I'm done. So, what am I carrying around? So, carrying around the flight, right. Oh, I did put on the fire one, that makes sense. I think I'm still one fire resist short or something. So, resist corrode, cold resist right, okay, that makes sense. Like, uh. Probably does make sense to keep this next one just in case I go put an arrow where I need more cold resist, I can swap out that one. Alright, that's probably... This is kind of silly, but I might just go to like dungeon level 0 and drop off my Ablet of Faith. Because <laughs> then I can mess with titles on the way out. Yeah, I can just sit there and Ablet of Faith. Anyway, I think Pandemonium is uh, exactly where I need to be right now. Don't know if there's anything I need to change around. Where's the resist electric weight? Where am I getting all oh, the resist electrics on my armor at the moment? That's fine. Don't need the polymorph anymore. Don't need the noise. 
Still don't need the enchantment, I got 14 and I don't think there's all of them. I think I've got another pile of those as well somewhere. I probably don't need half these potions anymore now that I'm a lich. Um, draw the brilliance, definitely. Length of gauge, it seems a little bit silly. Tragic. I'll keep a few of them because I might not always be a lich, but I'll be a lich pretty much all the time, I reckon. Oh, hey, there's a rune. On this level of pandemonium, there's the icy rune. All right. It's always nice to start with a rune. Uh, I probably should swap some rings around to get a little bit more coldness at some stage. Because this boss uh, really likes you to have cold resist. Also, I had no potions of haste. That's probably fine. I've got, got good damage anyway. Yeah, let's swap out the fire one. They should have uh, three cold resist now. What are that manuals in? I think good. I found quite a few manuals this game. Oh, dodging. Um, actually, I still got uh, five or six points to go on that, so it's not too bad. Yeah, like the range got a manual on it as well. I mean, the fighting doesn't, but pretty much everything else does. Uh, I guess I can grab the mutation. I think my mutation is just pretty neutral at the moment. Like, plus one AC or something. I guess that's positive. Alright, I must be getting close to the, the actual boss, right? I think... Ooh, I don't know quite recognize this, but... I might just buff up, like, right now, because I feel like I'm getting really close. Oh, there was one more room before. Okay. Maybe there were multiple... No, there's, uh... There's Lob Lob off. Had they not noticed me, but they did their whole whirlwind attack. So surely they had noticed me. Oh, surrounded by restless winds. Does that mean I can't uh, root them in place? No, I should be able to root them in place, right? No, oh, maybe not. Uh, Lob Lob Bond just escaped normally then, so I might just try the roots again. Oh, well, where's my finesse? Pull that one back on. I don't think these roots have been worthwhile, actually, now that I think about it. I think I'm better just uh, doing some damage. There we go, that does the trick. That's definitely why you want the finesse on, though, because it brings up your damage so much, because otherwise Lob Lob Bond will just, like, spam the, uh... I got the importation, it's not quite cast. We'll spam, like, the healing or whatever. It'll never be able to get through their health. Alright, good. That's the way on. Let's go down. Whoa. Gotta shoot this guy because it's got the told to spell a dead thing going for it. I'm actually gonna try and draw the other one because this is um not going perfectly, but unfortunately I'm just gonna have to rely on like natural healing to heal me up, unfortunately. Well, I wasn't quite expecting to take that much damage from the spell dead, but it makes sense. I was within range from the start. Alright, well, next region, it's so... It's holy. Wait, orphans do something now, right? I heard they had something. A creature from the heavenly realms. It consists of a wheel within a wheel. And both of these are covered in eyes. Strange flames of holy fire, fire flicker all over it. I thought they were meant to do something like mark you, but maybe not. Don't kill it quickly. Um, I just want a chance to take this lich form off. <laughs> Might just buff up so I can kill these guys nice and quick. Alright, but I should be able to get a rune for this level. And without my Lich Formals, it's probably not too bad. How do I resist right now? I'm missing the poison to resist negative. That's probably okay. Yeah, actually... 
Uh, probably. Uh, might put this one up, but I'm not actually sure if it really makes any sense to do that. It's just the one that I usually have on yet. Yeah, probably doesn't make. Oh, it did mark me. And then the mark went away when it died. Yeah, that's what I thought they were meant to do, but it didn't say anywhere in its description that I. Unless I just didn't look very carefully at its description, which is totally possible. Yeah, get that one did. Why does it say that in the subscription though? I don't see it. Huh, okay. I mean I guess because the markings new, I guess it just hasn't had its description updated or something. Would be my guess of what's going on there. Okay, so there's gonna be a Seraph um, in here somewhere. The problem with those is they summon in tons of stuff, and then they're really hard to get at. Uh, oh, I don't know. I feel like these uh offers are actually it could be a problem now because they okay. So I get marked from the offer, and then it pulls in another offer which marks me. Okay. That makes this level absolutely terrifying, because this was already one of the tougher levels of pandemonium, I think. Maybe not so much with this character, but for a lot of characters. Why does buff up again? i have got to see a Seraph here any second now. Especially with that mark. Yeah, there we go. This is Seraph. Alright, I want it just a little bit closer. There we go. Seraph's uh, fairly trivial when you're heading for large amounts of damage. Fire Dragon Scales? I don't know who was wearing those Fire Dragon Scales. Probably the Seraph or something. Anyway, there's my rune, which is what I came here to get. I think I don't need to stick around this level anymore. Although with this level, the way off is not... Um, like, not with the boss, you gotta find another way off. Around the edge somewhere. I just, uh, I should probably just check for tower shields, but I guess checking them all of them is fine. Because at the moment, I've probably got, like, a wizard up and charmed up it, or completely enchanted up another shield if I find one. Um. Oh, this is the place where... Is this just potions? If this is just potions, it might not be the most important for me to be here. Oh, I definitely need buffing. There's basically just eight, endless uh, Davis in here. So you gotta be really careful to pull them back instead of just going in further and further. Because if you just keep on going in further and further, um... Well, you'll get completely surrounded by Davis and they'll smite you to death. I don't think any of these guys had special shields. These are just plus zero shields. Plus zero shield, plus zero shield. All right. Oh, plus zero shield. I'm just taking them because sometimes they have artifact shields. Plus two shield, though. So it's still not worthwhile. If they got a plus eight shield, it's just that they're branded or artifacts, they could be good. Plus zero shield, alright. I haven't seen like a way on yet, I don't think. Um chance that there's some on the other side of that water, but that's not gonna really help me, because I guess I could put on a flight ring or something. Oh, well, that's a good sign. Uh, seeing guys are like well, off the edge of the map, well, what looks like the edge of the map to me. That's a sign that there might be a portal area off the edge, because it's always off the edge. Hey, speaking of portal areas, there's a portal, so I can take that one. Fatively next region, I mean, it's all the way out of here, but fatively the same thing. Nothing else I need to drop? Probably not really. I might leave the enchanted armor outside here. Oh, I think I had a mite as well, something. That's never going to be useful. 
All right, well, I'll put my lich, uh, lich Bolt back on and just head back on in. Uh, no rune just yet, so I can just go to the next region. Just telling me there's a glow rune, a fire rune, and a dark rune waiting for me to pick up at some stage. Bit worried about the fiery one, trying to get my last fire into this, because uh, Sarah Bob has a lot of hit points. And if you're trying to take him out without teleporting out, it can be quite tough. Oh, here's the next region. I might just take it. Again, it's a nothing special region, but that's pandemonium for you. Half the regions, well, I think it might be more than half of them are just kind of nothing. Alright, next region. Hey, there's a fire rune. How do I get a fire this? I mean, I suppose I could lose some decks? Lose six decks? Is that fine? Probably worth it. I mean, yeah, it's almost certainly worth it. Down to eighty-three damage. Yes, that seems worth it. Uh, seven magic, I don't think about it. It's a fact, the only spell I've got is like airportation or something. And I just be able to hide, like, in the nice little choke point here and just watch everything die. I probably dug that slightly deeper than I actually had to. I think it was good after the second digging. Well, what was this one where I could cheese Sarah buff? Ooh, it might be. Maybe? No, it's got the areas where you can walk out the sides, doesn't it? Because some of them don't have that, and like, uh, he can't really get to you very well. Oh, Cloak of Fire does this resist electric. I'll pick it up, but there's also a triple crossbow here, which I could probably use eventually. It's freezing, which is fine. Um, let me look at that. I'm probably going to need some charm up. So 70... 72 damage. Wait, do I not have the mid delay? Or I don't yet have the mid delay. Okay. I can't really do 80 something damage. Yeah, so. Let's get the mid delay on that one. Okay. Do I have a. Do I have a Phantom Mirror, of course? What do I have that can actually be useful here? I mean, I guess I could do the whole roots thing, but. Oh, it's hasted up. Is that a real? It's real. Uh... I don't like this at all. I'm gonna go duel this guy. Fortunately, it takes like some tons to take this off. If I do a healing now, that's fine, right? Yup. And I might just do another healing potion. And then put my Lich Form back on. Bid farewell. Let's get out of here. What's my chance of hitting him? 85%. I see. Can I get him in a net or something? I don't think I'm very good at throwing, but I might better get him in a net. That looks kind of funny, Sarah Bob in a net. <laughs> He's hasted, so he should break out pretty quick, but I can put him in another net, because I do have a stack of these things. Well, six of them, I think. There we go, that's looking pretty good. I don't think I'm going to need to duel or anything anymore. I think uh, everything is going good there. I don't care about a sword, I don't know if I got my nets back, but no, I've still got five nets, which isn't too bad. <laughs> I'll say I will reflect with poison for this, uh... Now I'll leave it. What's that triple crossbow brand? Freezing. Do I want to try making like a heavy triple crossbow or something? Anyway, what have we got? Got some pole ups. Oh, it means you find terrifying. 
You want us to tab in through? <laughs> yeah, I mean, most of those things this character guy I knew could definitely deal with. It was Cerebomb's was the one I couldn't tab there. No, I mean, trying to tab Cerebomb would uh, probably never end well. I don't know, there might be some characters out there that are just built to tab Cerebomb. But certainly not this one. Alright, next region, I guess. If I find a way out of Pandemonium, I should take it so I can go um, charge up that triple crossbow. I'll just pause the energy on that tower shield. No, I don't care about that. Now, what runes do I even have left? Dark rune, glowing rune. Also, I should probably swap my some uh, rings around. I need the cold resist next one instead of... Fire resist one. There we go. It's got summon demons, false lance. I don't think that looks that tough. Like, it doesn't have a lot of hit points or anything. Yeah, so it's just kind of dead. But I feel like half of this game is just like learning which creatures a particular character can take on and which ones they can't. Um, but that really varies a lot by character, which is kind of good because it means there's not creatures that are like just straight up wimpy or something. If I lost some strands, I can gain back a couple of decks. Um, I might try on that cloak and I think I get an armor class out of it as well. <laughs> yeah, that seems not too bad. All right. I don't think I need those resist electric anymore. Also, that means I could probably swap out my armor, right? What would I even wear instead? Um, there was still that ring mail deck, so I mean, I guess I could go grab that, if nothing else. Robe of cold resist? Is it like a robe that just gives it like a bit of fire resist or something? What does my current one give? Resist electric, of course. Uh... Looking through these, I'm not seeing something that's like massively tempting. Is Leather of a Cold Resist? I think my Cold Resist was not too bad. Uh... Where's that Ring of Dex? Did I have that? That was this character, right? There it is. I'm going to go give it a try, see if it's any good. Okay, so I've currently got uh one point one attack delay. It's probably fairly reliably that. Oh, sometimes one point something else. So I got forty two evade. Actually, you should probably say if I put this on how much I get. Uh, so to gain all oh, the AC is unchanged. I gain a little bit of uh evade, but I lose the same. No, I gain shield, but I lose evade, and I see how that works. Might be impacting my attack delay. 1.3, 1.2, yeah, that's a packing my attack delay. I don't think that's a good idea. Let me go look through some other armor here. I mean, probably, ah, oh, I mean, a robe of resistance. Sure. Because that won't slow my attack delay. Um, And I think it will max out my resist. Yeah, that was pretty good. I can do go with that one. Okay, so I needed to brand up the, I think I had a little bit of branding. Brand up the triple crossbow. See if I can rebrand that. I've got two. All right. I don't know. Freezing's all right, but I think I'll try rebrand it. Flaming. I mean, I'll leave it there. It's not really much. For, it's not really an improvement, but it's fine. Eighty-two damage compared with ninety something damage plus. Oh, it's eighty-two damage plus flaming. I think that's probably better. Uh. Let's just go and charge it up, because I know there's a whole stack of enchant weapons, 14 of them right there. There's a stack of six somewhere else. Yeah, so I'm now uh, 88 damage. Okay, that'll do. Let's go back into Pandemonium and shoot people with this triple crossbow. Because I have one more rune, right? I know I've got the glowing rune and the dark rune, so I've got two runes. Am I actually on mid delay for this yet? I'm not sure if I am. 
I feel like it's 26 skill or something. It's not, I know it's crazy skill. Yeah, 26 skill. Pandemonium Lord. Oh, it's got, a, it's got some health. I might just uh, buff up, but I'm not sure if I need to. There's plenty of other guys trying to like DJ my stats, but that's not actually seem to be very effective. Alright, there we go. So the summoner was the main one I was trying to get rid of there, but it was just hiding behind the other thing so well that was making it kind of hard to get rid of. Um, well, next level is... The glowing rune probably won't be too bad at least, because I won't uh, take all the malmutations. Oh, there's going to be... Yeah, there's a pandemonium lot. I should, oh, where'd they go? I should check what they do. Corrosive Bolt Sentinels Mark. Oh, they kind of gave me a Sentinels Mark. Oh, my Willpower's suboptimal. Huh. It's probably fine, but I might just buff up just in case. Hey, there we go. Glowing Rune. That's what I like to see. I might just explore this normally instead of magic mapping it because I feel like this character should be able to not build up the draining to the attributes, I reckon. Yeah, there's a little bit of minus uh, strength. That's uh, my, think my lowest one that's the... But it's the only one that's trying to be uh, anywhere near likely to reach Nero is my strength. My strength actually used to be really good on this character, but I kind of put on a number of items that were minus strengths. It's probably a, dec a good thing that I started with some decent strengths, otherwise I wouldn't be able to use those items. Why just buff up here? Gotta be really careful of those guys that hit you with uh, um, a radiate, because they can do such a large amount of damage, especially if one of the other guys here manages to get you with, like, what's it called? With Frail beforehand, so you'll take one and a half times damage. Must be really close to Manol Lake. There he is. I'm gonna try and bring them right round this corner. That should make my life a bit easier, I think. Because it's kind of a choke point. Well, fate to play, except this guy's summoning stuff. Guess some of these guys are smart enough to figure out how to get around there. Uh, who's the summoner? There's this one over here. Good. It's going to turn me frail if I don't get rid of it pretty quick. Worried about Manol, like, stepping back. Actually, I'm a little bit worried about my Kelt. I'm about to duel Manol, like. I think it's probably worth dueling Manol, like. At least temporarily get rid of all the stuff. Um, might give me a chance to wear off the frail as well. Hey, there we go. Mid delay on my triple crossbow. Excellent. So I need to get dodging. Shields is where it needs to be. It was fighting with the other thing, I think. Yeah, there we go. Go to the frail. Oh, yeah, finished the battle of taunting. No surprise there. All right, excellent. I've got the rune, and I think I know plenty of ways off here. In fact, is that my last rune? Although there's still the dark ones, I can't yet go to Pandemonium. I've just got to go to the next level. Okay, there's all the guys. What's uh one of these is a summoner? Let's get the back. Still pull these around the corner. Let's 
so many geysers. This one probably would have been a rune level if I hadn't already got the random demonic rune, I'd imagine. Yeah, in fact, there's going to be a line of statues, right? Yup, there's a line of statues. It is, in fact, the one I was thinking it would be. Ah, I might as well kill all the statues and let the creatures out. Because there will be a portal to the next level behind there, so... Whoa. Air is, oh, it's air twisting around me. Okay, I'll go get into this corridor then. That should be fine. Because uh, the less space there is around me, the less damage I'll be able to do with the airstrike. Now that you got a bit of a wire, though, when I saw my health, like, it was actually going down for those ones. Oh, it's got hot. Definitely, it's hot. Because it's just a hot on me. It's got hot, it's got a quicksilver bolt, it's got blink. Oh, yeah. I will buff up, though. I'm actually kind of losing piety, which is maybe a bit of a problem. Wait, what's... Oh, this one doesn't even have a portal? I mean, it had a mutation potion, which I might be able to use, but I, I thought... Okay, that's one of the few boss ones that doesn't have a portal. Oh, well, that's the portal, so I can take that anyway. But I didn't actually have to find the boss. Hey, finally my dark rune. This is my last pandemonium rune. I don't want to leave yet. In fact, instead of taking one of those, I really want to find an entrance to the abyss in here somewhere. Um, I guess the plan with this boss is fairly simple. I mean, I've just got to try... Do I try to keep my distance? Because he does have to spell dead, but he also summons the creatures. Um... Because I don't want him to, like, summon the creatures in front of him and me not be able to get to him or something. You know what? I think I'm buffing up here. I don't know how many things are coming along, but it could be quite a few of these executioners. Should be, like, straight ahead. Oh, yeah, he kills in view for a second. Come on, he should move next to me soon. There we go. He is doing his dispel on there, but I think this is fine. Because he can't surround me there. There we go, that worked fine. Alright, well, nine runes, and now I've just got to... I guess I just ought to explore and see if there is a way to the next... Uh, way to Pandemonium here, or whether I have to go to the next level. Or a way straight out of here would also work, because then I can just take the way to the abyss from outside of here, instead of trying to look for a way to the abyss in here. I'm <laughs> marked again, that's kind of funny. I mean, it's kind of funny because I've like explored most of the level already, so it's not really going to matter if I get marked or not. But it can be not so funny when uh, you haven't done the boss yet. There we go. There's my entrance into uh, the horrors of the abyss. I can't shaft myself that. It'd actually be really convenient to be able to shaft yourself in here. Because so uh, now you get down to the third level pretty quick. But no, unfortunately I've got to do this the old fashioned way and find the actual portals. Can anyone actually like purposely shaft himself down in the abyss? I'm not sure if anyone can. Maybe a Legato worshipper. Using Enter the Abyss or something? Probably not. I don't think so. Can you actually target yourself with Banish? I don't think you can. Otherwise, you'd probably use it instead of the Enter the Abyss ability. Anyway, let's go down again. Third level is probably as deep as I want to go. No runes, no runes. Alright. Ooh, there's a rune. Alright. Ah. And it pulled me uh, to another region of the best just after showing me the rune. Well, I don't think there was, I think there was literally zero chance of me getting that rune. Doesn't matter what I did, I don't think I could have got there. I don't actually want the portals out yet, do I?
could go to the fourth level. I don't think I should. Because that gives more, like, runes are more common, but no, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. I'll find us go out of here and then find another way in, I guess. Although I didn't really need a chance to heal off or anything, but, eh, whatever. Could just, like, dig this one piece, get through it. I mean, I can't do that all the time because it does build up my, uh, draining. Oh, build itself back. It's funny how the Abyss like sometimes just builds back the exact same spaces that I had before. Oh, uh, apparently I'm on level 4. Okay, I got sucked down deeper, so I guess whether I want to do level 4 or not, I'm ending up doing it. That's alright, level 4 is probably okay. That's half the reason I don't go, like, uh, any deeper than level 3 is because I know I can get sucked down deeper. Oh good, there's a rune around here somewhere. Hey, and I'm at the front entrance as well. Oh, angels is a holy area? Is it actually all holy? No, it's not. There's like Kaku demons and stuff as well. Oh, please don't go, Rude. Please don't go. Can I airport that Rude? Oh, no. Yeah, 40%. Failure. That's not too bad. Oh, it doesn't port it very far, but still, I got it. So now I've just got to find a way out of the abyss because I got my Rude. Wait, were there multiple entrances in that Rude chamber? No wonder it was so easy to find the front entrance if there were, like, multiple ways in. That's actually really nice, because often you just end up on the wrong side, and it's kind of annoying. Alright, that's a way out, is it? Looks like it to me. Let's get out of here. Um, so I've got, what, 10 runes? I've got, okay, 10 runes. I'll go clear the entrance to hell, I guess. Ooh, I'm gonna get a lump trapped. I don't have a thing to dig into. This is actually not the best entrance ever. <laughs> yep, there goes the alarm trap. Oh! Reaper dragged me off the staircase. Okay. Uh, might have to duel something at some stage. But for now, I'm going to go here. Okay, this is not too bad. I think I got myself a uh, decent choke point. I want to do some sort of emulation on the sea of creatures I've got outside. I mean, I won't be able to affect everyone, but I can get a decent proportion of the guys. Uh, I might drop a Trevor Stones on them as well. Uh... All right, that looks a little bit better. I do have like decent fire resist right now. What's wrong, key? Yeah, I got uh, all of it because I got like a robe resistance or something. Well, as far as hell entrances go, that one was actually fairly rough because I had to run for a choke point instead of like digging one. But I guess that's all right. I was kind of a bit worried though when I was running, like whether I'd actually find a choke point or not. What sort of hell do I want to do? I feel like Tartarus is okay. Is this Tartarus? Yeah, okay, let's go into Tartarus. There's, uh, the Tzitzit Metals of the Spell and Dead are probably my main thread in here, but I feel like most other things aren't too bad. Oh, there's a Silent Wraith? Do they matter much? I mean, I guess they saw me doing my god abilities. Uh, I could swap ambulance if I don't want to get mesmerized all the time, right? Because they got the clarity one. Oh, there goes the spell dead. I almost had to, like, uh, duel one of these other guys just to get away from that guy for a second, but...
Oh, I don't have the yards, do I? So if I get, uh... Hmm. If I get held, I can't stop it right now. I doubt I can probably... I don't think I can get the yards, can I? Whoops. 99% failure of Texas Alchemy. Um... I actually probably should get this at some stage. I probably should have got this a little while back, but it's fine. 10 hexes, 10 alchemy. Is that fine? I'm not wearing very heavy armor, so it's probably more than enough. Let's give it a try. And my head's actually pretty decent on this character as well. Oh, whoa, look at that dags. Four dags. Uh... Huh. Strat, I mean. Not dags. I mean, that's probably going to hurt my chance of casting any of these things. Although, apparently, I'm at 88% failure on the yards. Oh, I guess I got basically no uh, shield penalty because my shield skill is like 26 or something. Did I get all the way to 26? Yeah, I did. If I get up to 27, I think there's literally no penalty, but um, oh, that's a problem. What increases my strength right now? I'm probably going to have to take off the uh, cloak temporarily. I don't really need the resist on it. I lose a little bit of arm class, but it's not a big deal. Oh. I have scroll fog, right? Alright, well that, uh, <laughs> that worked okay. Good, I think I'm good. Um, it's a little bit... Oh, there's tons of tons of middles here. It's a little bit scary when you get yourself in a situation like that and you know you can't, like, blink to the side or something. Right, strength is back enough. I can put the uh, cloak on. Can I yards up this pet fight? 30? It's like 40% fail. I'll give it a try. That looked like a success to me. Uh, let's go down to the last level here. I'm surprised how little I've been held. In fact, I don't think I've been held at all this time round. Usually you're getting held like every single level or something or twice every level or whatever. Hey, there's a how. Uh, what was the yards of the sea? Well, all right. It's got to be getting pretty good. 70% fairly good. It's uh, definitely getting there pretty fast. This is a, this is a little treasure room. I don't think I'll worry about that one. Alright, what is this little room up here? Is this, uh, I think that's a treasure room as well. So I might just go exclude that one too. Oh, I'm held. Hold up. Let me go. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> Let me go cancel that one up. I had 10% failure on that one. I think this is the boss chambers right here. I definitely want to go to, want to be buffed going to the boss chambers. I gotta worry about like the large amounts of tzitz middles that this place can often have. I'm fed to my buff right now. Alright, uh, I was getting fighting. What else was I getting? Dodging, I think. Although, actually, hold on, let's take a thoughts. I might just get my invocations maxed out so I've got my title locked in. Actually, I'll refresh my finesse. I might even put on a hair as well, though. I don't know that does that much. I'm in rather a lot of these guys. Um, I'm actually going to draw her, but she's probably going to summon those guys in again. Yeah, there's one of them. There's a second one. Oh, apparently I accidentally killed one. 
All right, she's gone. Excellent. All right, well, I got my rune. I might as well get out of here. What other runes are there to get? So I've still got four more runes. I might go to Cosidus. I should have good call with this now. I don't have flight. Uh... <sighs> Do I just have basic rings of flight? Okay. Ah, I'd have to lose uh, five decks, would I? It's probably worthwhile, but... The reason I want to have flight is so I can dig into walls, uh, because usually there's water in the way. I guess, oh, I guess that threat ring could be fine. Um, yeah, I'll keep one threat ring, I guess. Alright, well, sure, I guess I put on the flight. Yeah, I mean, the resist is still good, let's head on in. Oh good, a way down, although, can I just get some more strength back, actually? I might just collect this level, try and get some strength back before I go down, because my strength is looking a little dire there at 6, I mean, I can't go down with that strength, it's just, oh, didn't get me any. I thought I'd get noticed by a few more creatures. Um, yeah, because I initially like ran towards the wall so I could dig myself in and nothing followed me. Oh, half these things can probably can't even fly or swim or whatever they need to do to be able to get to me. So the normal downside of this hell is that you can't, um, drink potions, but I'm a lich anyway, so, like, I don't think I need to worry too much, because I, I can't drink potions anyway. Yeah, this is kind of the hell with no downside if you're lich form. In fact, lich form is perfect in here, because it gives you willpower, which you need to stop being, uh, petrified. It, uh, it gives you cold resist, which is obviously good, good in a cold hell. Um... <laughs> and, of course, torment immunity, which is probably the main reason for wearing it in here. And it's got no downside because the minus potions doesn't matter. Curse scales are not your average creature that you find in here, so I'm guessing there's some sort of undead vault. But maybe got some liches as well. Or maybe it's just curse scales. Doesn't really matter. I can go down. So, uh, gotta be careful this level, because, like, if you get wounded, there's no real way to heal up, but that's kind of been true of this character for a while. Um, the fact they're in lich form. It might back up a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, my max health is slowly getting drained, especially with me digging constantly, it's not helping with that, but I think most of it's been drained just by... Going down levels. Well, it's actually only like... Actually, I might buff up for these guys. Or like, uh, six hit points behind us. It's actually not too bad anymore. Alright, let's uh, go down again. This is the last level. This is a good entrance, so this is not too bad. Should be fine. Alright, it's one of these, like... Ogdonal levels, whatever they are. Uh, is this actually diggable? No. Right, makes sense. I think the outside one is though. Yeah, it's just to uh, stop you like cheating and digging your way uh, straight to the final boss without really fighting many creatures. I might just back up a little. Just to uh, try and get myself into some kind of choke point here. But the Shrike's damage definitely can add up. I mean, I've got 
43 uh, evade and a 20, no, 37 shield, which does definitely help against the strikes. Oh, Victor of 1,000 battles, that's a good sign. That means I've got over 26 um, in the invocations. I'm now doing god titles. Oh, hey there, Servant of Hell. Definitely buffing for that one. Shouldn't be too bad, but I uh, definitely want to buff up so I can kill it before it summons in too much stuff. Oh, hey, Shrike. Goodbye, Shrike. I managed to one-hit the Shrike. Oh, I'm marked. Uh, can I not be marked? Please? I'm still, still have to get in my buff, I think, because there's still quite a few creatures left, so I'm not sure how much more stuff is approaching me. Alright, well, I can just max out, like, fighting, ranged. What else does the character use? Dodging, right? Uh, shields, obviously. Shapeshifting doesn't matter anymore. Can we get a little bit more indications, but I think I might just max out these skills. I get that. It's weird every time that the Victor of a Thousand Battles makes it back to be my title because I, uh, well, like, it takes up an extra line compared to all the other titles. You just notice everything, like, shifting around out of the corner of your eye. Oh, there's the boss. All right. Well, I'll put on the. Put on the, um,. Finesse. Alright, he doesn't have any items on him. I might just pull it back a little bit. There we go. He's more effective in melee combat than he is at range, but um, I wasn't moving back any further because he got me with like the freezing, which slows me down. I care about it. Oh, do I care about a fire in this row? Probably not, really. Anyway, let's get out of here. Final, uh... Has he any sense of what's this? Why not? Just already yarded myself. Really hit myself? Yes, of course. Man, I, it really doesn't want to get rid of that mark on myself. Um, it's kind of funny how Yarrod doesn't really think you would want to self target because I guess because it mutates you, you usually wouldn't. Unless you're like in lich form, then it doesn't really matter. Uh, do I do a fiery hell? Yeah, I think I do a Fiery Hell, then I do the Two of Ancients, then I do the Iron City Dust. Oh, also, I forgot to swap my rings back. I need a uh, Fire one, Fire Dex, instead of Flight. I mean, Flight can be useful in here, but there's less Lava in here. Probably okay. Also, I meant to be good for this guy. Whoops. I think this is fine. I might just... Do that though, so I'm not getting hit down with quite as many fireballs as I otherwise would be. All right, let's go down. I'm a little bit drained, but I'm not too bad. Whoa, hold up. I should not have stuck around quite as long as they did there. All right, this is probably fine though now. Just half of those guys had damnation and they were hitting me with it. I should have retreated back just a little bit earlier there. But everything's fine. That was just not the optimal way to do that. Wait, you can see now that I'm in my choke point, I'm actually regaining health, which is exactly what I want to be doing. Giant somehow did a bit of damage to me. Oh, hey there, SDM plays. You are timing yourself out. I'm glad that command still works. Oh, come on. Where's the, where's the way downstairs? Does that give like a message for other people when someone types themselves out? 
Or is it just me that can see that uh, message saying... No, the one that says STM plays redeemed time yourself out. That was fit. Everyone can see that one, right? Maybe. Not sure. Anyway, let's go downstairs. Because <laughs> I know some of them, like, I was expecting other people to be able to see them, but I, I couldn't. Oh, timed yourself out again, and you followed. Hey, thanks for following. I think I'm getting quite close to my follow target. What is it, like, four more follows to go or something? That'll be up to 301. I don't think that guy's gonna mark me. No, there we go. I'm gonna avoid it standing on the mic trap. Like, enemies always need to go out of their way to stand on mic traps. It'd be kind of interesting if there was an enemy that went out of his way, but also, like, that would be fairly niche, right? Because there's not that many alarm traps. I mean, some places actually have a lot of alarm traps, maybe. I don't know, it'd certainly be interesting the idea of certain monsters being able to go out of their way to stand on the alarm traps. Uh, I just back up a little bit, try to get... Actually, there's nothing to stop me going straight down again. <laughs> How drained am I? I think I started off a little bit drained here. So I'm actually a little, little bit more drained now that I've dug my way into here, but that's fine. Where's this guy going? Is this like, uh, enemies that are just running off? I think they're getting confused about me hiding in my little choke point. They're like, where'd they go? Uh, I'll try and get a bit more XP on this level while there's nothing left to do. I was just trying to get rid of some of that draining. Uh, I could fly over this lava, but it looks like I can one walk around. So far, anyway. I just don't want to, like, leave enemies in the lava and then uh, get ambushed by a whole bunch of them or something. Speaking of enemies in the lava, I'll just definitely buff up because the brimstone feed hiding in that lava. I might actually yeah, go up here as well, make sure there's not too much stuff, make sure I've got a reasonably good era for retreating back into. The problem here is you can't read scrolls, so there's like, I mean, what scrolls do I even have? I mean, I don't have that many different scrolls, actually. I mean, I have Fog, actually. Fog's been the most useful, I think. I haven't actually really used my fear much, but it, uh, I guess at this point in the game, it's not that useful. Everything has endless willpower, it's probably immune anyway. Hey, is this the boss chamber? It could be. It's got a it's got a 50% chance of the boss in, so I might buff up. Ooh, it's definitely got enough of these uh brimstone feeds in it. Oh, dodging at a limit? I don't care about that limit. Let's just keep it going to 27. Oh, fighting at a limit as well. That's kind of funny. I also might also bring the evocations up to like uh 15 as well. Because I do occasionally use like my wands and roots and stuff, but not that often. Ah, it wasn't the boss, it was just, uh, the other decoy side, basically. I don't know why I'm bothering with this money. I've got, like, 8,000 gold that I don't need right now. Alright, let's go around to the actual side, which is going to be directly opposite on the map. Okay, so I've got to go... I actually don't know which one of these is going to go into the right area. I'll try this one. 
Like, I know where I need to end up. I'm just not sure which of these is the uh, quickest way to get there. Looks like this one might be sloping around the right way, so that's a good sign. Oh yeah, there's the little metal box with the boss on it. That's probably the boss right there. The little guy hiding. On the other side. Uh, it could just be one of these brimstone fiends. That's also an option. The brimstone fiends are kind of nasty. You see all the damnation they're throwing at me. Leave me wounded before I even get to the boss. Although, if the guy tries them away without trying to weigh the boss, they should be good, actually. Yeah, that's the boss. Alright, but uh, Asmodeus isn't too bad on his own. He's throwing a bit of damnation, but he'll die soon. Excellent, and I've got uh, 13 runes, so I've got two more to go, and I think the Tomb of Ancients is going to be my next one. This character is nothing special when doing the tomb, but hey, whatever. I do at least have Lich Form, so that's something. The first level is going to almost certainly be trivial, but not necessarily, but probably. Oh, I'm a fob, so that makes the tomb, uh, means I have to do slightly more guys, because I had to do the mummies in the walls. Um, that's fine. I've got lich fobs, so they shouldn't be too bad. I know that can just be kind of bad if you want to shining when you have to do the mummies in the walls. Actually, no, I don't. You know what I should do? Uh... I should think about shafting self, but I might clear this level off first. Hmm. Oh, I'm marked. Can I not be marked? Partially, I think I've still pulled out quite a lot of the enemies here. Ah, oh, look at all those guys. I want to pop a little bit of fog. Hopefully I don't have to like do too much dueling or something. How do I even get to this guy over here? Oh there we go, it's moved somewhere I can actually attack. It's probably, yeah, it's responsible for something most of that stuff. These are uh, bad you guys, like the guys that I just blew up. Uh, they, they have uh, Holy Wrath Claws, but they're not too bad when you've got high physical defenses. They got 50 evasion and uh, 39 shield, which is reasonable. Definitely keeps them out. Alright, well, I will just take the normal way down, and then I'll do the revelations to find the staircase. This is this way. Alright, let's see how much stuff I can kill before I have to go upstairs. I might actually drop a little bit of fog down though. Try to at least hide some of those traps. It also means not all these mummies can smite me quite as well. Alright, well this might have actually got a bit... Bit better than I was expecting it to go, because I don't think I actually needed that staircase after all. Well, I guess there's still a few more guys here. But it's always the third level, which is a really tough one, because that's got all the guys on it. Alright. These guys have Dispel and Dead. I'm going to step back a little bit. It shouldn't be too bad, because they don't have a whole lot of health. Just, uh, sometimes you get, like, a wall of them on the third level, and it can be a really bit of a problem for some characters. Well, a lot of characters, because a lot of characters have the lich form going at this point. Alright, well, that's the side that you need to be in if you want to go down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take... 
I guess I have to like try charging myself, see where I go. Uh, I have to be off a sec as I think before I can charge myself. I'm just gonna see where it ends up. Oh. I think I refreshed my finesse, which is probably a good idea. Hey, look at that. <laughs> I wasn't uh, expecting that to put me exactly where I needed to be, but this puts me perfectly ready to take a normal staircase down to the level beneath, which is probably a good idea. That's fine. A lot of the spell are dead. Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm done here, so I can just go to one of these down staircases. Uh, what do I want to put on? Well I definitely want to put on my finesse. I'm not sure there's much else to actually put on though. Let's just go down. Magic map, so I know which one of these is the best one. So I want to go to whichever one of these. Oh, this one's definitely better. Like, this one, he has a net trap to uh, constrict me, and then I wouldn't be able to use my shield properly. I think I lose some advantage as well. This side just goes to spell trap, and I'm forced into, like, I'm mute to those anyway. There we go. And I can just fight from here. Maybe could consider doing a fog, but it doesn't look like you're going to need it, because everything's dying before it even gets up to me. Alright, it's still fine. I still got the finesse on. I should definitely take out this guy with the spell dead. But I should probably take out this one as well. Oh, and this one here needs to take you out. There we go. Alright, what's next? Should probably try to take out this guy because this guy is going to summon some stuff. Actually, I think this is where I pop the fog. Yeah, so that, um, the guys that are, like, I can't get to because all this summons on. Just sitting back. I'll leave it on. Uh. Come on, I want this guy to step forward. Oh, I'll let the summon step forward instead. I think what I might do is I might burn these guys, and then I might go upstairs. Oh, come on. Did I do something? Oh, I might have thrown something from my quiver. That was probably not quite right. What did I throw? That was a bit of a waste of a turn. That's what I want to see. Now let's go upstairs. Um, What did I even have in my quiver? I can't remember. It doesn't even matter. Alright, let's, uh, let's buff up and go back down. Can't easily get back to my staircase, which is a little bit of a worry. Let me like some of the stuff. Oh, I can do it. I can do a better revelation. Oh, I should probably do that. Uh, I can just throw out some Trevor stones. That's not too bad. There we go. That gets me back to the staircase where I can throw out, I think, yet another revelation at these guys. Alright, time to go up, but I, I did quite a bit of damage. I go to the side even though it's got an air trap, because I think the other side might possibly have stuff in. Although it looks like this is basically cleared out. This way it's digging around. Oh, I even auto picked it up. <laughs> Apparently it's a uh, room. How good is a Zephyr? It does 60 damage point four attack delay. I'm doing uh 90 something damage one attack delay. I mean Does that make sense to you? It doesn't have a flame brand on top, but like it might. You know it probably does make sense to use it, although does it though? Because I got the Iron City of Dust is like my next place to go. I was a cure Ari does when I threw at people. Right, that's whatever. Uh, any manual spellcasting? 
I mean, not really. But okay, then. None of the other things are anything sensible. Wait, what's the gem still doing here? Apparently I was quick enough to get the gem. I mean, if I was quick enough to get the gem, I might get out of here, see if I can keep the gem alive. Don't worry about the monsters, they're just mummies in the walls. I think I did manage to keep the gem alive. Whoops, it's, uh... Yeah, it looks, it looks like it's alive. Maybe. I might have chatted, I don't really know. Um, let's go to... I think I got the Iron City of Dust. Yeah, I think you need, like, more gem info showing or something to tell if it chatted, which is kind of strange. Alright, uh... I don't even know what to get, I mean, an evocations, maybe? Do I need armor? What am I, I'm wearing a robe right now, I wouldn't even do that much, but, like, sure. I mean, I guess I can get a little stealth as well. Um, I think I might actually use Zephyr after all, we can use the triple crossbow, because, uh... Actually, Zephyr would make sense against these guys. But in general in here, it makes sense to use something that's like high damage on a single attack because everything has lots of armor. Also, actually, with the corrosion in here, yeah, it's best to use a weapon that's not quite as fast as attacking but does more damage each hit. Oh, that's not the right one. I don't want an up staircase, I want a down staircase here. There we go. Am I wearing the right rings? Let's see. So I'm wearing... Those are fine. Those are kind of just decks. Yeah, whatever. I got to just wear deck stuff, which makes sense. I mean, maybe you can make some minor swaps or something, but I think that's pretty good. I can also magic map out levels if I want to, like, uh, or I could actually... You know, I'm going to do a thing the fast way to shaft myself down. It's fine, but I'm going to skip this level as well. Alright, level 6, that's not too bad. I'm just going to buff up and fight these guys. See, yeah, that's quite a lot of guys. I might shaft myself again, but I kind of worried about my max hit points there. Okay, this looks fine. Um... Try to avoid that trap being set off, the bike trap, because this level has a lot of guys. But yeah, that's, a, that's the fast way of doing the Iron City of Deaths. You just uh, shaft yourself all the way down. But I might be a bit more sensible in exploring this level. And the theory you could do that with all the hells if you, uh, in fact, that would have, if I got in trouble with the fiery hell, I wasn't on the last level, I could have shopped it as well. Alright. Oh, hell sentinels in my buff. Yeah, well, this model does, like, it's for damnation, it can definitely add up for any sort of character. Even some fairly strong characters, like, I'd, rank, I'd classify this character as fairly strong. Uh, even if I don't have the armor class right now, due to the corrosion I've got right now, but that's fine. I've got uh, I've got shield, and I've got evasion. Oh, I should probably buff up again. Yeah, but there's no reason it's a good idea to shop through this hell. It does kind of keep on constantly requiring buffs to keep you going in here, which can go through your piety rather fast. Oh, this triple crossbow is pretty good at taking out the eye golems, at least. Uh, which is a good thing, because there seems to be quite a few eye golems here. That's quite a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm going to buff again. Alright, that's fine. I've just got it down to the eye golems. I might just... uh. Now these are like proper choke points, but that's fine. I'm just bring them back to here and kill them, I guess. Because eye golems are very smart, so you can use a lot of things as choke points, but not what I was saying there. Those wouldn't have worked very well as choke points. Uh... What's the chance of this guy actually hitting me? It's pretty bad, right? Has about 2% chance to hit you, yeah. 
That's why those like, guys aren't doing too much. I mean, they hit for a reasonable amount of damage, but they're very bad at actually hitting for some reason. I mean, that's not just with this character. It's like a pattern overall. I've noticed their like, two hit modifiers seem to be pretty bad. I guess because they technically have very little hit dice, because I think that's what determines your uh, enemies to hit modifier. I think this is fine, because one of these is almost dead. Alright, well, there's, there's going to be a boss in here somewhere. I'm going to buff up. Gerardo Kaku Demon, okay. Oh, there's the boss. I don't think I've got, like, uh, evokables that are that useful. I mean, I can escape with the Ziggurat if I have to. Uh, I can do a bit of roots. Oh, oh I just want to focus the boss, I think. Oh, I, I don't have a choice of focusing the boss because all the other guys are stamping out the front. You know what? I think I'm going to draw... Because it's going to take him a few turns to resummon all the guys, so it kind of saves me getting hit by damnation for a few turns. Although I don't really care about Zorb, I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> and doesn't even get spit out of the jewel area, I guess. Uh, sure. I really left items in those much before, so I didn't really notice what happened to them, but I presume they just got consumed. It's the last one, and there we go, there's the rune. I also stole that rune, so I mean, uh, oh, you don't know how to get out of here? Why not? Oh, don't know how to get to that level, Zot. She better get out of here. Can I get to Zot 5 now? Alright. Must have been having trouble getting out of that hell or whatever. I guess technically I had to actually be in all the way up and kind of like shaft and stuff, so I guess it might have confused it. There was a side that I wanted to go with. It was this side, right? With the teleport trap. Whoa. Might just buff up here. I don't know how much of the stuff I'll actually kill before it just stands on the teleport trap and goes somewhere else, though. Alright, well, I should go check that there's not like a whole bunch of guys behind. Oh, there they are. Yeah, there's all the guys that I teleported around the level. But they all seem to have concrete on one spot, which is kind of funny. No, I do not want to go that side. Because then I'll get myself netted, which would not be a good idea. I still haven't decided like, exactly what title I'll get with this character. Oh, teleport trap. Sure. I don't care about those ones. Oh, I could either let this guy get rid of my mind, but I think it's more reliable if I get rid of myself, because that guy has to get through my, uh, my page, and I think. I don't actually like the look at this. Um... I'm going to try and buff through it. Might be alright. Yeah, I see an orb of fire. It doesn't look loud. Uh, yes, actually seems fine, I think. Oh, I changed my mutations. It's not like the orb of fire is giving me any mutations in the ledge. It was just kind of habit after fighting orb of fire to check my mutations. See what I've got. Alright, well, there's the orb right here. I should grab it. Um, I should make my way back this way, of course. Ooh. Seraph is not good. Um, might have to kill it. I don't think I could, because uh, it's quite fast, I don't think I could, oh. I just got too many things out, I'm going to have to duel it. It's trying to get me with the cleansing flame. Goodness. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's not what you want to see when you're in Lynch form, though. It's a Seraph coming along. 
I mean, something you can try to do with those serums is, like, get a teleport trap with Lace with this character. Is walk behind it so they get teleported away, but, like, that's kind of scary. Uh, okay, what I need to do is I need to go check gods. Um, so I might just get... Do I get sluggish? Is that the right one? I gotta get one of these zero piety ones. Mishap, okay. Yeah, but I don't think I've been a sluggish and right, but I should double check that. Pretty sure I didn't see that. Uh so the command see what that uh, oh did I miss balancing there? I don't think so. No games for wizard I got equal shame for formicids. Okay, good. That's what I was expecting. So uh which chamber are you Lair for or temple? I mean, temple's probably the better one to go for. Because it's probably closer to the exit to the dungeon, I'd imagine. And I probably won't need that amulet of faith that I left uh, lying around. See, I won't have any piety anyway by the time I get to where I'm going. Because I determined that an Okamaru title wasn't any good, right? Um, I'm pretty sure I'd had the, the anted arms, so yeah, it would be. Alright. Oh, did I? Goodbye, Okawara, you've served me well, but uh, you don't give me the tile I want. I've got some blinking scrolls if I need them, thankfully. I don't think I... Oh, wait, no, I don't. What am I saying? I'm a Fobzid. I've definitely seen blinking scrolls, but they're no use to me. Okay. Oh, really near the exit. Has the faith element case. I want to show up. Oh, I can't pick it up. Let's just get out of here. I'm doing pretty well. I'm sluggish out. That's what I want to be. Excellent. It's a victory. Oh, I'm not even allowed to use this FI. That's kind of funny because uh, it's got speed brand. Jamie Adel doesn't like it. Oh, it was an under four hour game. That was pretty quick. And I had my one gem, but it doesn't say if it was broken or not, which is kind of a shame. It probably was, but hey, I got it.